Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is my pleasure to remind you that The Real is back. The number one podcast is back. We go by the name Zero Conditions Podcast. If you are not familiar, tell somebody to tell somebody. It's a Friday night. We're feeling good. <laughs> Melody was drinking earlier. Motolani was drinking earlier. But Excel was praying. <laughs> praying because... The president said we are going to war. That's not what he said. <laughs> president Bonatiwa said we are going to war with Niger. <laughs> Shout out to my niggas in Niger. Your niggas in Niger. <laughs> the president are going to want to, 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 do, to. The nigga, do the people in Niger are good at their niggas? <laughs> I'm wearing red. Bro, I need Maglito to make a new song. That's the niggas in Niger. Fresh out. <laughs> but, we are sad. <laughs> We're back. Shout out to everyone. We, we, saw, we saw the love. We saw the love from the Don Jazzy episode. That yes, was crazy. We did. That was crazy. Shout out to everybody that reposted. Shout out to everybody that reposted. And everybody that didn't that, that was listening and didn't act, didn't act like they were listening. Yeah, it's looking at you. <laughs> we know you. Shout out to we all know of you see us. Bro, the people that listen to this podcast, but they, that they act like they don't. It's, so, it's, it's very crazy. Because one way or the other, everything we say on this podcast, it gets to the people. Yep. Listen. Yep. Yep. One way or the other. Yep. Or you just be in some <laughs> random conversation. It's best we just um, reference. But oh, that episode, my nigga, what do you mean? So, so you knew. So you know. And sometimes Excel gets shades on social Hell media. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, shout out to the artists that feel, that feel about themselves. That's, that have more energy for social media than for their careers. Damn. Polani. That's not even how to start a podcast. It's so, Damn. I'm not sorry. Well, sorry, not sorry. Damn. I mean, shout out to everyone. Shout out to all of you that were that have been streaming supporting I mean, if, if and certain people need to have the same energy across board yes please we are all for that yeah. <laughs> we are all for that I'm, I support your career if you if you support your whole career don't Be- take a back seat yeah. <laughs> yeah I don't think anyone would intentionally take a back seat when it comes to their own career ah. yeah I okay. want to say this at the beginning all of you that are listening to the pod wherever you are listening go and give the podcast five star rating yes so. if it's on Apple Podcast if it's on Spotify Whatever platform. If you listen to this podcast, you followed us from our formal name to this new name, and you don't subscribe to our YouTube. Why? And please, some Why? people are still saying, Oh, you guys are back. Are you back? Yes, we are. Like we we now go by the name Zero Condition. Oh my, you guys, you have been doing well to us. By the way, shout out to all the platforms, man. The numbers have been shout out the, the numbers have been crazy. Shout out to all the platforms and the support that they've been. Niggas giving listening us. in Wales, yeah. niggas listening in Portugal, niggas and listening all, places. all over the place. All over the place, niggas listening to the podcast. And our guest just walked in. Man, and our guest, what our is guest. this shoe? <laughs> what? This thing you have to go to go 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 go. another level. <laughs> <laughs> you can come in. You can literally come in. Walk in, walk in, walk in. You can come in. We are very unconventional on our show. You can come in. Our guest for today. Both shoe. Just walked in. TJ Omori in the building. Oh my God. It's so nice to have you. Nah, this shoe is crazy. <laughs> this shoe is, is crazy. People always make oh me cringe. People are always mocking me for my shoes. That my yeah. shoes are weird. But look at this. But guess what? It's flat. <laughs> it's so fly. Yeah, it's you fly. like it? It's fly. It's so fly. That's the same for it's you, Melody. Bro. <laughs> my shoe's not fly. This is my shoe's not fly. No, I love it. Thank you. Today, it's just a clean fit. You like it, right? It's yeah. Okay Thank it's you. Okay Thank you. Have fun now. TG. My bro. Nice to see you, man. It's so nice, nice to see you. Have fun. Thanks for pulling up, my brother. 100, anytime. Um, so before, we're, so we're, we're talking about shout out to the platforms. Sorry, bro. Um... Uh, all the platforms. Um, First, shout out to Pop Central, of course. Yeah, our partners. Um, Shout out to Apple Podcast for the for the incredible support they've been showing. Can you come closer this way? Um, this way, yeah. Yes. As yes. well, in terms of like the algorithm supporting us. Yep. Shout out to Audio Mac for the incredible support. Shout out to Boom Play, which is just amazing. Shout out to Spotify. Even though some people to our left have not Shout been optimizing to... their work very well. <laughs> you know? So but I'm it's okay. To you. We're not angry. It's we'll wait for you. Weird. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to... The energy we are giving them on the streets is Lauren James and Alozie. Match them. <laughs> match them. Not DK. Match them. God damn. You want, did you want this Papa Alcon's match? Did you want yeah, this? Yeah, every one of them. Oh, man. Oh. 
Nice, nice. That's our guy. I watch. love to watch Nigerian. Oh, Nigerian. really? Oh, that's so nice. The, the pressure is always crazy, bro. Yeah. Oh, it's always ridiculous. I yeah. can't even lie. But, I what mean, I love it. Manchester United. United. What club do you support? Liverpool, bro. Uh, ah. I mean, it's a cool team. What club do you support? Arsenal. What club do you support? <laughs> so, so, back in the day, I used to support Arsenal. Yeah? Yeah, but... but I lost so much. Not really. Not faithful. How many, my crush how many used to... Have you had? It was in secondary school. The boy used to support Arsenal, so I was supporting Arsenal too. So when the crush died, the yeah. club... Yeah, and the club was not even, the club was not even getting anything. You're always really? losing, losing. And I was living in Nigeria. I'm like, I can't be supporting Arsenal and be living really? in Nigeria. So my old son, so you, so, you know I can lose. Since that when I'm with you. Bro, you got lost. Bro. Then lost. I lost. Uh, <laughs> you. Bro. Where's the loyalty, bro? Fuck you. How are you to Jamori? I'm chilling, man. How far now? Fine. I'm really fine. You look so fly. Yeah? Yeah. We just, we just didn't. But what's with your, what's with your fashion? Bro? Have you always been like this? My f- yeah, I mean, um, from early, yeah. I just like to, I just like to be me, you know? Yeah. Even when money no day. <laughs> It just you won't even have a we just knock and prop. Even now, so, just, just to be sure, can I we go with the sound? Are we go with the sound? Higher, 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 higher. By the way, that's Batman's edge. Yeah, I think I know him. Person. Yeah. Everybody knows that motherfucker. <laughs> um he's been he's, he tweeted last year that you that you wanted he wants you to come on this podcast. Oh yeah? Yeah, but we were we under a different name at the time. So he's very happy. That somebody made the dream come true, which is this babe. Uh uh-huh. you know. I mean I'm here. I'm here for a bit and I was like, okay, let's come and let's yarn. Let's <laughs> yarn! Um, I want to start with, um, so there's a question I want to ask. This yeah. question is a bit, um, it's a bit funny, but you're just going to take it as this, TG. In Joe Hart video, there's a scene where Shake goes, no! See, that's my ah! favorite, that's like my favorite thing. About that scene, he goes. Like, ah, no, no, no. That's that's not even the best part for me. You know, it went like this. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah. yes. Whoa, that was the follow that up. Was that was the follow up. Who came up with that? Who came um, up with that? The crazy thing about when we are shooting videos is we always, um, we just sit back and be like, damn, we need to. After we did the bandana one, where his eyes were. Yeah. Yeah, that one went crazy. So we're looking for a perfect intro. Mm. Then we're just, I was just looking at him. I was just looking at him. I was doing something. Then he did. I was like, yes, let's oh. do that. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, so like, we knew, because we always like to create something very abstract. We knew something was missing. Because with me, sometimes I get uh, bored of basic performance, just being in the camera, a yo, a yo. Sometimes yeah. I'm, I get bored, you know. <laughs> ayo, ayo, ayo. Ayo. So I was like, I was just, but at that point, I actually didn't know what, we, I knew that the performance was not it, but I did not know what we really wanted. Mm. So we're just there, we're just chilling, we're just trying. Sometimes we just try to connect spiritually. And mm. then when it does, like, that That's I it. want, yes, that was it. <laughs> Speaking of, like, Ashake, I feel like some of, <sighs> your, some of your most incredible works have come from him. Yeah? yeah. From producing for, yeah. like, shooting his videos. Producing videos, videos. Right? yeah. I mean, oh, I feel yeah. like we, we have good... Ashake sings how I shoot. You know that mm. kind of... You know that kind mm. of... I don't know if you understand what that means. The philosophy of how... Yeah, of how it, it, like yeah. we... Most of we have conversation, we always have similar minds. So Perspective. It was never, yeah. You get to, when was the was, first time you met, me, met him? The first time I ever met him was when... Um, ah... Wako, okay, at Intercontinental, I told, I heard one of his songs. Shout out to Wako. Yeah, I heard one of his songs, I was like, pull up. Which that song? Was like, Which song now? I can't even remember. But I, I knew that he used to, I shall know him on Instagram, and then one day After around, he blew up or before? No, 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 no this before, is before the EP. Way before, this is, what that EP way before Lamide um, signed him. Oh. So I was like, okay, pull up. I was not I'm a, I'm a, um... Um, um, no, it's not even um, well, I single. think it was. I, can't, I don't What's think he had those songs then. Mr. Money. Yeah. Mr. Money. No. 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 Mr. Mo- was Mr. Was Mr. Money Mr. out Mo- then? Mr. Money was out like way before that. Was evening. Mr. Money out then? Waku. Yeah. He was out, yeah? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So I texted him that, yo, my guy, Pulakos, you used to 
like he loves my like he loves my work like we're cool like we randomly just text on instagram like i encourage him that don't worry once the time is right we're gonna do it yeah then one day i told him to pull up they, he pulled up at intercontinental we had vibes we just chilled i told him that no pressure that when the time is ready we're gonna do it but i told him to go and look for some money that you can find that money i'm gonna that we're gonna do something by then how much were you charging crazy i told you to go and look him? for five million then, how, how many him? years ago that was like three years ago wow. or there about i told you go and look for five million let's do something now you are carrying like, gun. He was like, okay. <laughs> now you are carrying He was like, okay, let me go look for it. Yeah. But like, he never came back. He get, it was later he was telling me that Omar... The five million, he no day. He didn't day. He didn't day. He didn't day. He's a very cool guy. He's not going to want to... Lie. You understand? Stress it. He get, so I was like, no, Wala, he's not in serious. Then, then Omar Pe. He now had Omar Pe. That was when he reached out to me again. That okay now nah, I want to I want us to shoot this and then Omotpe was like the number one song in the country. Yeah. 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 Then I gave him my bill at that time, <laughs> and he did not have. I think he had the old budget. He had the five million. Yeah. Then now at that point, what was your what was your budget? Uh, was your then? Okay, it was ten million. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. The price went up yeah. like a double the price. Yeah. So, but with me, I was like, bro, you have the number one song in the country. Like you should. Everybody should be ready. Like you have friends. I see you guys on Instagram, on Snapchat. You guys are always balling in the club. In the club. Oh, they don't go to club for three days. Join the money. <laughs> <and keep it. laughs> so like with me, I that was fucking wild. Bro, me, I was I was mad at them that bro, you know you have the number one song in the country. Yeah. You know this is your shot to like start up everywhere. Like I feel like if anybody you know should be ready to invest. Mm. You get so like I feel like. 10 million shouldn't be a problem. Like, just, just shut out, yeah, sh- like, shut down three days at the club. I mean, I was, it was just me yeah. thinking. How, but yeah. things were not the way I was thinking in yeah. its own end. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Then, when all I'm they signed him. Everything transformed. Yeah. I, but, you know, if Badu call, you answer, you understand. Badu just come and say, ah, I said, okay, it's part of the family. Let's do it. <laughs> Did you have a relationship with Badu before then? Yeah, I mean, YBN, we've had a series of videos. Videos, yeah. Did Fireboy. Yeah. Even Bado said we did Pound. Yeah. Did Oil and Gas. Like, Bado is that kind of guy that once he has a project, just text me like, TG, this is it, and let's do it. I think yeah. one of the best videos I shot for um, during YBN, YBN Prayer Shaka was Champion. Yeah. Champion, yeah, actually, I, was, yeah. I think that one had this... That was the video that one heard this last head is eh? Yeah. I was very, very intentional with champion. Why? Yeah. Um, that was after me and Fireboy have not shot for like a year or so. Okay. So then I loved the song personally. And that time I was, it was, you know, how the music video industry goes. There are times that Heist. goes like this and goes like this. Go. So I mean, um, I'm like a soldier. I'm always, sometimes I want to be like, yo, fuck all of you. I want to show you guys who I am. Yeah. <laughs> You know, so when the champion video came, I was in that element. I was like, you know what? Fuck all of you. Let's I do wanna, this. Yeah, let's do this. So I was like, okay. F- and Fire is always very ready to work. So I was like, yeah. let's go to Obudu. Let's go do some crazy things. Yeah. Did you have to train any special training for that sprint? For that shoot? For the sprint. I, I was surprised though. He was just, it was a dedication. You know, the thing is uh, as artists, sometimes you know that you have one shot and you just have to take it. So yeah. I was just encouraging that, bro. We are gonna, you know how crazy it is. I was like, bro, this is the video of the year. This is the video of the year. Let's do it. Let's give them video of the year energy. And, and he, he did won, that. you know, and he was 100%. He was, bro, the running Mr. I fear. He was just running. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, bro, he, he, he did bro, run. He was he running. Was like... <laughs> ah, bro. But I, me, I don't think I can. Because we were shooting from a moving car and he was running oh. the pace. I mean, I can't, I tried, uh, there was a behind the scene video where I was shooting with the camera, mm. running with him because we were shooting inside the woods mm-hmm. but when we were doing the outside shot with the drone bro you I was running up. on the hills so what did you and do I shout out to Fireboy what what did you do I used a car oh. I was sitting inside a bus and I was holding car. <laughs> <laughs> you can't come and kill yourself nah, sure. yeah. so nah, when, was... when people talk about when people talk about Ashaki as an artist and talk yeah. about his run and yeah. the storytelling the visuals you are very Presence in the conversation. Before, before you go ahead, I want to make a comment. Yeah. I feel like the videos made someone like me come back watching music videos. 
That's yes, true. true. Yeah. Came back to watch music videos. Yeah. Yeah. Be, or be interested in music videos. Like yeah. they run. Yeah, yeah. they run. Yeah, so, I mean, so, so, I feel so, like so that the, was qu- the... The question, sorry, is that yeah. when people talk about... Tanani is always interrupting me. Sorry. Yeah. As usual. So when Don't people talk about victims. please ask please your please shift. Ask your when people talk about Ashake and his run yeah. and you know the storytelling and how you've been able to like do the run with him, you are very present in the Ashake story. The visuals, the because we've, we've not really seen a lot of Ashake in the media space aside from the music videos. So there's right. so much credit given to you. Right. How did you guys? Did you guys in terms dis- of building the brand? In, in terms of building the brand, how like did? You- Yes. The idea, was it the intentional or did you guys just fall into it? Did you guys have a plan pre the run Oof. or you guys just fell into it? Um, I mean, it was very intentional. I mean, anybody oh. that saw it knew it was very intentional. Oh. You know, intentional with the aspect of making sure that it was also very hidden. Like when you see him, it's from his videos. You know, like it was very, very intentional. But at the same time, Ashake is an artist too, not just a musician. An artist. You an understand? Artist. An artist, you Bas- know, so... It was an easy one, you get. So, like, because you also have to give him his credit, you know, because yeah. his dedication to putting in the work and all of that, you know. So, like, um, we just had very good synergy. We just had good relationship. And because sometimes, most times we're together, you get. So, we just had a very good relationship. It was like we're in love. <laughs> we just had a very good relationship, you know. He gives me his 100% and I give him my 100%. And that was just, it was just like, it was easy. And it makes, as I said, it makes music that I can relate, like, his sound. When I first heard um, Terminator, mm. damn. The That's first a intro, ah, wait, the whole That's video was, jam. the whole video came from that, ah, wait. Follow me, talk, I know me, killer. That three line was what gave me the whole inspiration for the whole video. Wow. Just the three first line, like. The wake that, up call. The wake up call sounded like I was listening to some Asian Ubu music. <laughs> Do you understand? Yeah. Because me, most times my concept comes from within. Mm. You mm. know, like, it's just like when you say somebody is an old soul. I really don't know where it comes from. But like yeah. when I hear something, it feels like I've seen it before, I've lived it before. Yeah. You get so, sometimes when I just hear his music, it feels like the same. And I think that's how he also gets his music. Yeah. You know, he's also very spiritually connected yeah. himself. Yeah. You know? Yes, so, he is. It was just like boom, boom, boom. You get so it has never been, it has never really been a a thing where we had to search so much. Hmm. Speaking of the videos, right? Um, I felt like it was a continuous story. Yeah. Am I wrong? Yeah. Like every song fits into like the next the, song. Like every, every song, every video fits into another video, especially the video with, um, uh, peace be unto you and organize. Organize, yeah. yeah. I felt yeah, like and and Joha, I know, and yoga. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I mean, as I said, it was it was, was it was a long it was a long term plan. Okay. okay. You know, like every no we're just led by the spirit. You know, that's the beautiful thing about art. I like how that's how you say it. Yeah. Sometimes I create, I really don't have a specific direction. I just create and make it hit people differently. And people come and be like, bro, you don't even understand what you did on this video. I'll be like, oh, yeah. Sometimes, the only video I know that I was very intentional about was organized. That one was very, very personal to me. Like, I was very, very intentional with... There's so much hidden messages in that video that if I come back to do a breakdown 20 years later, people will understand how deep that video was. Mm. Apart from organized, every other one, I just let the spirit lead and it hits people differently. Like, when we shot yoga, it was, we were just in Senegal. We didn't even know what we we're going to do in Senegal, but I knew I wanted to shoot mm. this video in Senegal. Mm. So we got to Senegal, boom. Um, we were in Senegal for three days already. We were just, I was looking around like, what am I going to do? What am I gonna... The cats, the whole cats thing, we met the cats in the location mm. and the cats cooperated with us. God damn. <laughs> that, was, that was creepy as hell. The <laughs> and the cats saw us and the corporate, everything that happened in yoga was, even the performance, that one, we searched ourselves for that performance. We shot, that was like the last performance. I think the second to the last performance today. We shot all day from morning to like 2 p.m. And I didn't like any of the performances. Oh. Wow. oh. But when, when, at that time, I think we were having, like, the energies were... Like, all over the place. Yeah, like, I was not, like, we were pleased with ourselves. Like, we knew that, no, we can't We've not fly this far. 
Like, what's happening? Everybody was searching himself. Me, I went up, I was shooting B-rolls. I was just up in the hill, shooting B-rolls. He was down. Even him himself, if he could tell in the spirit that something is not right. Me too, I could tell that something is not right. So we're just, everywhere was just quiet. Nobody dare speak. Everybody was just quiet. Then he came up. I told him I've gotten, he got to the perfect location and the energy was right. Then when he came up, we started performing. Then I told him that I wanted to get, I want him to be so um, into himself. Like I want to see that art in him. And then boom, that was the performance. And that was mm. what sold the video. And mm. when I was editing, as I was watching the performance, I was like, fuck it, I'm not going to cut this shit. Mm. And the performance ran for like 45 seconds or one mm. minute. And mm. then that was like my only video that had like one shot for one minute. Mm. Mm. And that was, yeah, like that, that place was like the Holy Spirit came in him. <laughs> and he was like, and I was like, I get it. <laughs> Do you believe That's in God? The, me? Of course, you can't. I don't think you can be a creative or you can be an artist and not believe. You must believe that there's a supernatural or higher power because it's not from i mean as a creative i am god but there's god almighty yeah that was created in his own image yeah you understand and one of the attributes or the image of god is not like the skin or the appearance Mm. his biggest image is creation Mm. it's like the first thing you read about god is he's the creator of the heavens and the The earth earth. so if we were created in his own image mean that is typical image and attribute is the fact that it's a creator. So the image of God is my ability to create. Mm. So I don't even see myself. I don't think the image of God that people talk about is your skin. This is just like clothes. You go, like that's why people can now change their body. Mm. You can stitch, the way you can look at this shirt, I, like, I don't like it. You want to add accessories. Mm. People are accessorizing their body. So like, yeah. and that is not, the, this is not, this is just the <laughs> fucking flesh. This is not the image of God. The image of God is the soul that he has put in you. Mm. Do you understand? That soul, because God is a spirit. I'm sorry, let's go back to our... No, 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 the Almighty, the Creator of heavens and everything that we're living in. Yeah. So my ability to create is what makes me God. Do you understand? Not with the capital G, but like yeah. because yeah. we are yeah. all a creation of God. Exactly. Do you do you go to church? Do I go to church? Do you even ask me what? How do you connect to God? Do you know if it's a Muslim or? I think that. How do you connect to this okay, God I mean, that you are aware of? How do you the connect? The church to God? played a very vital role in my life growing up. You know, yeah. like. I used to win every possible Bible quiz in the in oh. church. I like, I knew, I love Bible stories. I love stories because yeah. I always, when I read stories, I see, I don't like, I don't like poems much like that, but I read a lot of Bible stories. I can see myself in them most times. And when I was very young, I would read every book. I love the Old Testament more than the New Testament. Hmm. I read a lot of, I read the story of the Job. The Old Testament has wild stories. Exactly. So yeah, sense. exactly. So I love, so me, till like I was, till like I was 16, I was very, very connected to hmm. the, church. the church. Okay. But like, when I became, at 17, I started stepping out a bit because I was trying to, I was trying to be like a free man. I wanted to, because there were so many religions in the world and sometimes I'd be like, is everybody going to die if. and go to hell? Is it just my religion that's going to be saved? Mm. Is it just Christians? Like, we have more um, Hindu, Buddhist, Muslims, Muslims in the world. traditional worshippers. Are, are all these people going to perish? Yeah. Mm. And then these people also believe they're right. These people believe they're right. So yep. I was like, okay, I want to step away from what I was born into or what I've been made to believe. Yeah. To also see light from everybody's angle and then be a free man to not choose, choose where I want to be and who I want to follow. Yeah. So it was in that part and it was in that phase that I figured that it actually lives in me. Yeah. Do you understand? Like, yeah. I can wake up tomorrow and be my own religion, you know? Mm. If you look at most of the people you follow were like prophets or people that also walk this earth. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? Because they discovered how connected they were to God. So I was like, okay, I want to be connected to God myself. And then, who knows? I might also be a religious. Something. You might be a prophet. I mean, look. Yeah, because I see you, myself you, as a prophet. You might be a prophet. All right, so 
Guys, as you know, we're on TV and we're going to take a break, but the conversation continues and any part you miss, you can catch it. The full audio and the video will be out by Monday. See you. So, I mean... <laughs> sorry, Melody. Yes, continue. I mean, the, the idea is this. I, I feel like everybody is just... Everybody serves the same... Ve- like, everybody serves different versions of God. God, yeah. And they look for him through different ways. Yeah. yeah. Like, I feel... I, I don't like the idea of the separatism that everybody's trying to get through. Oh, my God yeah. is better than... No, mm-hmm. no, no. Exactly. No. I, just, there's just I, one God. Yeah, I, so think, one yeah. God. I think that the... The problem is just human... Pastor Excel, go on. Human... Human need... Human nature. Uh, but don't let I me mean, enter my bishop bag. Yeah, human nature and, yeah, and environment, you know... Yeah. Language, language, yeah. language. So, for example, culture. Uh, there, if you check worldwide, a lot of creatives came out of the church. Beats, filmmaking, yeah. beats, um, art, beats, singers, beats singers, yeah. But because of the politics, rigidity, rigidity of the church and politics, it doesn't know how to cater to creatives, and the creatives have to leave. That's and, the conscripted. But when you now read, if you're a Christian and you now read the Bible, you see that that rigidity is anti-jesus jesus came to jesus came and did the opposite of that yeah. it's not like modern day christianity took to it back to that True. pharisee setting mm-hmm. it's so but, wild. but i also feel like it's from a place of balance right because when we're having these conversations about you know um modern christianity and being restricted and not allowing people to exist in their elements like with so much rules and regulation mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i feel like we sometimes conflict that especially like young people who are creatives who are trying to be yeah. christians and yeah. be like about God and being their creative back. Yeah. We sometimes conflict that for sin or for just doing anything that you want. Mm. Um, so where do you find a balance between rigidity and also doing what is right? Um, That's to a me, good question. I feel like, because one of the first attributes or one of the first things creative, creatives always do or when you're trying to transition into that level of creativity, yeah. you always ask, you can't go to that level without asking questions. Questions like who, why, what, and when. So once these questions start coming in, yeah. you start questioning a lot of things. You start questioning existence, and once you are, in, once you get deep into your thoughts, yeah. and start because you can't, you can't create a solid story or a yeah. solid. You can't even be solid if you don't even wake up to even ask yourself. I feel like that's how you find yourself. Mm. When one day you wake up, yeah, it's in the question. Find yourself starts with asking questions, mm. not necessarily to everybody, but to yourself. To yourself, like mm. why, when, how, mm. where. Mm. Do you understand? Yeah. So that's where a lot of people miss it. It's, it's through that question, that's where that journey starts, and then you start questioning everything. And mm. from there, you want to step out from a lot of things that you were born into, yeah. Yeah. and then you want to find answers mm. to. So those answers, that is where it's like the devil comes in. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. If you if you read about the the um What's it called? Uh, the temptation King of Jesus, Jesus Christ on the mountain. Uh, to me, I don't think it was a physical encounter. It was in the mind. I, I agree. Hmm. You understand? I never thought about it that way. No, it was a physical encounter. The devil well, my question I've always had there is, who wrote it? What was their inspiration? Did Jesus tell them the story? The yes, person? definitely. The, the story did not... Like, the devil did not... It was like in his mindset. His mind. Bro, jump. Huh. They understand? Bro, jump. I will give, they understand? Uh-huh. So, like... It's if it's because most times you set your mind so much, yeah. It's just like it's a kind of okay or no situation. <laughs> Sacrifices, <laughs> then it's like it's a kind of okay situation, bro. Do this, your mother, I'll give you the whole world, huh? The, the devil always come. there's always a point in your life where the devil will sneak into you and come and sit down with you. The devil sat me down on a Sunday morning, you know, There's always a point in your life where the devil will sit with you and be like, bro, with good ideas. With good and bad, positive, all of them. What, so it's what up did the devil tell you on that Sunday? On the Sunday morning, sat down with on you. On that actually. Sunday morning, yeah. Uh, <laughs> He's looking at Wako. <laughs> Wako, don't, Wako, please the don't tell him. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. Don't, don't be telling him. The tell him what the devil told you. The devil is a liar. <laughs> Facts, bro. Facts, bro. Facts. What, did, what did the devil tell yeah, you? Yeah, but at the same time, the devil also has his own. Everything in life has its own balance. balance. Balance, you know. So sometimes you give the devil a chance. Mm. <laughs> Guys, we are back. We are back. Welcome back. If you missed any of that, remember to check the full audio and the full video on Monday. Did you follow you us just... on social media. Follow Pop Central. Follow Zero Conditions and send us emails. Did you, did you really say give the devil a chance? Yes, no. To do what? Uh-uh. To manipulate you. Because <laughs> honestly, honestly, yeah, sometimes as a creative. 
some bad decisions are needed mm. to mm. also make mm. to create. Learning I think process. that's life in general. Yeah, yeah. yeah. learning course. Yeah. That's yeah. life in general. Yeah. Sometimes I you need agree. to lose yourself to find yourself. I agree. Did you ever lose yourself? Ah, uh, <laughs> plenty, plenty times. Mm. <laughs> that was the biggest time. The biggest time. Yeah. Ah, uh, Omar, that series like is a lot. Hmm. Almost every time. There was one time. There was one time I smashed my phone. I think we were in Senegal. We were shooting Aquafina. We shot hmm. to a certain level whereby the day one after I finished shooting. Like everything was, you know, shooting outside Lagos and they're shooting with people that don't even speak English, mm. dealing with a lot. That day I was losing my mind. Mm. And then I was so stuck in my head that I had to like smash my phone or like inflict some level of pain, pain in me to be able to like, you need to be, I was so angry huh. to be able to find a direction. Exactly. That sometimes you need to be, do you understand? It was weird. Like, because my phone is like where I value most. Yeah. So I was like, Ugh. it was like midnight. I was losing my mind. Then I was like, after my body just calmed down. <laughs> Does that happen to you often when you're shooting? Uh, no, like barely, this rage or? Barely. Uh, I mean, sometimes you just have to um, inconvenience yourself. It's, it's yeah. not, it's just personal. It's not yeah. like how people operate. You just need yeah. to find your what powers and you? your, yeah, and your strength. Because you see, this is my life, you know, like, mm making music videos all of that stuff mm -hmm. being a creative you know i feel like i don't see my life outside that you know yeah that's where my life and everything lies. but it's not like a do or die thing i'm not that desperate you know but like i just feel like that's the essence of my existence what's the what's the what, what's the i don't say what's, what's the biggest thing you've ever done to find that sort of inspiration out of yourself um caught myself Cut, not cut to like cut myself away from oh okay separate society. yourself from yeah, society isolate yourself isolate yeah, yourself yeah, yeah, yeah. where did you go in my room how many um, days did you lock like yourself like a week or more most times I'm always in my room like I just stay sometimes I'm in Nigeria people don't even know I'm just in my room my room used to be dark I just changed the color my room used to be very dark where I don't know when it's day or night huh. what do you do there I just sit down cause there's no light I get that's like the perfect opportunity for me to see just myself. Mm. Okay, so like it's just like I'm seeing my soul. Sometimes I go crazy, I just tweet some crazy things, or just post on my dead. story. Yeah. <laughs> I just post some crazy things. I'm like deep in my like I'm just seeing myself. It's just like me. I can't feel my flesh. I can't feel anything. I can't see nobody. It's just like feeling just my spirit and my soul. You know, yeah. like at that point, I'm speaking to my other selves. You know, other selves. Yeah, like, I f do you feel like you've lived other lives? No. Um, I feel like there are other versions of me in some other. Yeah, I feel like I've lived other lives. Huh? Oh. Before, this Before this life. Before this life. I don't feel that way. You don't I, feel I, that? I, I, for me, I, I talk to myself a lot. Like I do, like call and response with myself. I, I feel like your soul, definitely, your soul never dies. Hmm. Huh. The body dies. Hmm. So when the body dies, the soul goes up. And wait to manifest to you know, to feel another body. So I feel like my soul is one very old soul that okay. has lived, and in, now is manifesting in this body. Yes, exactly. So, so I've been able to connect to it. So sometimes, <laughs> <laughs> is that why you like retro stuff? Like, um, it's very possible because yeah. you don't never you never really get a clear understanding of your past self. Huh. But there's always some elements of it. Elements of it in the new life. Because your past body, everything that happens to your body is recorded to your brain. And huh. if your body dies and your brain dies, automatically your soul does not have like... The recollection. The recollection. Do you understand? But if you set your soul a lot, uh -huh. you can find some attributes, but it can never get... Cause the full. Yeah, because your body, uh -huh. all of these things are just recorded to the brain and to the mind. Mm. So so you're saying... So you feel like this body that you have, like Tiji Omori, the soul that is inside Tiji Omori has yeah. existed in another body yes. before? Yes. Yeah. As was if I <laughs> <laughs> my, my own theory for it might be like a thousand years ago for why he had Fair. for why there's like a lot of like retro, retro okay um elements in his videos was I I I stopped seeing TJ as a music video guy I started seeing him as a filmmaker filmmaker and yeah. a filmmaker with his own you know how Wes Anderson films look a certain way yeah right. Quentin Tarantino, Tarantino films, films look, look a certain, certain way. way I mean that's true I'm dropping a movie soon. True. 
There I'm saying drop it, I'm shooting soon. Here we go. Ooh, here, here we, we go. go. You and see? it's gonna be mind go. blowing. Ah, I have the place not that down. We here don't we want go. to go. We will go there. Yeah, but like, yeah, like we, we have a lot. We, I want to get into like some of these things that I'm saying. But because but I feel like you read a lot. Now nah, wait. Now nah. to come back to this filmmaking thing, right? Yeah. We don't want to go there yet to excel. No, no, not even this. This the yeah. film he's doing. Okay, the music I'm film. Okay, to connect. Co- find his inspirations. Fine. In film. That's a good question. Because I think that that would have played a That's role a in question. how you make. The, the music, music videos. videos right what, what kind of movies growing up did you love what kind okay of i mean what kind of directors do you really like funny enough stuff? i watched a lot of nigerian movies oh mad you get but like the th- good thing about me is the few movies i ever watch inspires me a lot okay. that's why i really don't consume a lot of movies mm. i don't because you, you would take yeah, it in uh, uh, i try to recreate oh. Ah, oh, so affect what he's creating. The mm. City of God, that was like my favorite movie. That's one of the greatest of movies of all, all time. time. Of course. And that's the movie I'm trying to beat. Oh. Then, like I'm trying to create a one of one movie. I'm not trying to, sh- I'm not trying to go into the movie industry. I'm trying and to just shoot, shoot one a one. one of one movie and then probably never shoot to like 20 years or like 15 years. I'm not trying to go into the... And be like a... A regular person in the space. Exactly. I'll just go back to living my life. That's uh, perspective. Now I was going to ask the City of God... Well, ask, question, what's the but, best, what, but I feel like you wouldn't movie? know because I was going to say I was going to ask if you watched Gang of Lagos that means you didn't watch it <laughs> no I watched Gang of Lagos I feel you like know. the storyline of Gang of Lagos is Alliance. City of God if you think about it very well he doesn't wow. want to speak on it he doesn't want to answer it <laughs> um, I mean I feel like it was very like when I was watching I was just like this is City of God this is City of God this except City let God. him say what he wants to say before he changes his mind <laughs> no 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 I know I don't <laughs> what makes a good movie to you though what makes a good movie story of course yeah mm. and um i like attention to details especially mm. styling casting casting is very important to me like facial language you know like it takes a lot of cinematography lighting and attention to not just any type of details but like when the movie teaches a lot through dialogue, dialogue. and culture. And culture. You are, we're <laughs> ready. <laughs> when I mean culture, like, I want to see festivals in your movies. Mm. No one, not, not. Culture. You see Jackie Chan movie, Jackie Chan is just chasing somebody and they're doing a, one of the biggest Chinese festivals. Festival. Yes. And just because he just wants to run. Yes. And that alone has taught you costuming, has taught you mm. a lot of Chinese culture. So this attention to, to details. It's not just a storyline where you're just in the room, in the room, in the room, wakes up. I'm not people say I use a lot of crowd because I'm that kind of there. person. I, I don't there. like I love I love action. Mm. I'm a happening guy. I don't like <laughs> I don't like locked in stories. Yeah. Wake up. But it's cool. Do you understand? But like I want it. If he did, if he did, if he did, if he did, day, he did. Day, day, day. if he didn't did, he didn't did. But but did you? Yes, I'm, I'm going straight into it, bro. Like, so you say that you know that you're very active on social media. You always see the kind of things that people say about yes, you. Now. You sometimes you respond yeah. when people come on social media and say things like you use the crowd. Yeah. A like, lot of people, yeah, I mean, music this is videos, and it feels like it's too yeah. much. This is what people don't understand about music video art in general. If you require, if you, if artists want a particular technique, they go to some particular director. Mm-hmm. Now, if you watch, if you go back to my videos, it was never like that. But me and the Ashake era or the new wave of music videos that were coming in, were coming in with chorus. Chorus. Like chorus, where you have a lot of people singing. Singing, a lot of choral backup. singers. Yeah, okay. choral okay. singers. Okay. Do you understand? And once you make a video with this, unconsciously, the song and the video marries themselves. People like you can't separate it because imagine. Okay, now not just me. If you look at other professional that if you watch a video like explain to you, baby mm, trap. My. We yeah. had crowd of people because it was a choral chorus. Mm. You what can't if you separate it. You can't put one person if where it's, there's a, there's, yes, there's a lot of crowd. Separate it, yeah. crowd if you separate it, your video is gonna look shitty. Mm. So that has been the way for almost all songs, all Afrobeat songs last year. Yeah. And I was in the middle of these things. And there are some things you can't separate. If you separate it, it's going to look messy. Bland. Mm. Some people are lucky. If you look at my co-directors like K, Damian, so most of the videos that should don't have these things. 
K shoots most of Whiskey's videos. Whiskey barely does choral songs. You can't involve the crowd. You are going to look stupid. Hmm. Do you understand? So the whole last year, almost all the videos, had almost the, all the songs. What's that thing that we call crowd vocals? Crowd vocals. That's what I've been trying to remember. Understand? They had crowd vocals. Crowd almost vocals. all the songs. Uh, wrote to me song the one I yeah, shot that it yeah. had crowd vocals all and I shot most of Ashake videos last year it had crowd, crowd vocals. vocals almost everything had that so like if you separate that from the video yeah the video is going to look like a total because why are 50 why can you hear 50 people in the chorus and you're seeing one, one person, person singing in the video so it's basically so, the song and now I was I shot literally 70% mm. of the videos last year so automatically because they were all coming back to back People automatically feel like this guy is using crowd. No. It's the song. It's the song. So it's not it's That was where Afrobeat was at that point. If even after I took a break or after me and Ashaka really stopped shooting, his next videos, the Ama Piano song had no choice but to have crowd in it. Because it comes with it. It's not, it can't, if you take it away, you are not even going to enjoy watching the video. If you watch Joha, Joha did not have that yeah, crowd because the chorus was not like that. Do you understand? Yeah. And people specialize in different things. Mm. Yeah. People need to understand that if you want... If there are other directors in the game that... It's just like how people... Are you going to condemn Fela for not rapping, doing hip-hop? <laughs> <laughs> Do you understand? He is an Afrobeat artist. Before, people used to appreciate people for, oh, you're an R&B artist. Yeah. They love you that. Yeah. Okay, you're a director. This is your direction. They love you for that. But now people want lions to swim and birds to or uh, fishes to fly. They want you to be able to do 20 things. Yeah. If you want a director that loves one girl, one guy, go to K. He does it fantastically. <laughs> but the pull, pull back is my game. <laughs> if you want a director that likes um um do you understand that every director with their specialty. Me, I like action film. See Bandana, flying cast, that's my Specialty. Don't try to change me. You're going to change me, force me to do what I, I don't... Because me, first of all, I need to be happy with my videos. Yeah. I need to see it. I love action. Like, the video has to be like... Bleh, bleh, from beginning to the end. I don't like to see a shot that is just deaf. And that's... Bro, that's why I'm the biggest in the game. Talk because, your shit, <laughs> Because I come with the heat. I you can't take... The bro... Heat. You can't take that away from me, bro. It's it's there. Every video was a hit. Bro, back bro to back. I come with the hit. Do you understand? Like yeah. you can't watch my videos and sleep off. Mm. I agree. Do you understand? Energy. I come with the hit. And that's why, bro, that's why almost everybody wants it. Um so, is that why you is that why I can look like a villain in a lot of videos that you did. Like, yes, actually. Yeah, like me with me. I villain. love, yeah. You said it was I love vill- See, that is like like, a I, like Gotham. You watch Batman villains. Like what I do with Shave Vibe for this is last video. The first thing of the video was kissing the girl. It was so gross and like he was not kissing the girl romantically. <laughs> he was. I made it to look very very intentional and like you want to watch it be like. He was a lot. Then it's like it's staring you like it's telling you that nigga. What can you do? <laughs> it's intentional. We did kiss. Like, we are kissing. I'm not kissing room. I'm like, I'm a thug kissing a bad bitch on the couch and I'm God. grabbing her ass. Then it's like, these things, yeah, I just don't shoot videos. Yeah. I'm very particular about breaking the artist's image into the people's mind. Like, I want to torment your mind. I want you to sleep and you're seeing the artist in your head. It's not about just the artist looking fly or performing. No. I want you, after I finish watching the video, in your sleep, you have seen the artist. Be it for good or for bad, it's up to you to decide. Either you're going to hate the artist totally or you're going to love him insanely. Hmm. You feel me? So, like, it's... it's For me, it's that is all I want to do. You feel me? So, so you mentioned... You mentioned you know, before you answered this question, the, yeah. the previous conversation, you mentioned taking a break from shooting Ashake. Why did that happen? Taking a break? You mentioned I'm, it. <laughs> um, um, even husband and wife, they divorced. Yes. Divorce? <laughs> even husband and wife, they divorced. Yes. Did so you, you so, saying there's, there's no, 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 no. Oh, God. That's not what I said. <laughs> <laughs> but like, people fall. Even couples take yeah, a break. Even yeah. Exactly. Yeah, people take a break. Yeah. yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. Um, 
I feel like we've done a lot. We've done like 12, 10 to 12 Whoa. videos. Yeah, with features and everything. Okay. We share a lot of videos and then, I mean, we are still very cool. Yeah. You know, we've seen a couple of times and we are very cool. There's really nothing, but like, I mean, let the young man explore still and I'm doing my thing. And you know, it's a business. Yeah. Client, at the end of the day, you need to respect your client. Yeah. Client decision. You always be here doing your thing. It has happened a series of times. Artists are me. One thing I love about myself, I like when artists have that freedom. I want you to wake up one day and feel that freedom to want to also try new things. Mm. I don't want us because we are cool, we are guys, you must shoot with me. Mm. It's to me, I feel like I'm boxing you. Mm. Mm. Do you understand? So, mm. like, the reason why that happened, I don't know. We don't know. Do you understand? Everybody have their own reasons, but like, it's still beautiful to see, you know? Take a break, do your thing. I'm doing my thing, everybody's happy. The long as, long as the money is still in and everybody is chilling. Wish it happened and I were broke or like I wasn't, bro, I got like the craziest videos coming. Trust me. Talk your shit. You bro. know, so like, it's not, to me, it's, Crazy love, cause like me and YBNL forever. Cause yeah. you you know how me and Olamide go long, like way back. And Olamide is that one person that I respect so much. No. Do you understand? Like, cause Olamide is in that position to make sure that everybody eats. And before I came, before I came, he was working with other directors, and yeah. then he gave me the opportunity to also do my thing. Yeah. So I feel like he's that kind of nigga that wants to. Also allow Put people yeah. on. Yeah. So he's working with a very creative guy now, a very good guy that is yeah. doing fine too. Yeah. You know? So like that's a lamb for you. And everybody with has me, to eat. if if I take that person out, then I'm hmm. I'm messed up. Hmm. Yeah. Do you understand? Because hmm. I'm on that level whereby I can't I don't think, bro, I'm TJ Mori for crying out loud. <laughs> You're TJ Mori. Um, Do you understand? Like it can never be, it can never go bad. Okay. Mm. Or else I, or else me, I go sleep on myself. Mm. Have you ever turned down a client? Let, let's say they had the money, a but the, pro the problem was not the the creation, the creative. Why? Every time, every time. Most every time. time. Not every time. Most time. Why? Um, I fear for. I don't like working under so much pressure. Mm. I like. That's why I really enjoyed my relationship with YBN. They just pay me and let me do my thing. Mm. They understand. Those are my favorite type of clients. Clients that. Even working with David, everybody. Most of the people I work with, they just pay me. And of course, you are going to share a treatment of what you want to do. Yeah. But they show that level of confidence in you that we know what you can do. Come do it. But when a client boxes me up too much, like, please, uh, madam, just take your money. I know like Wala. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't want to know. Because there are some projects that look impossible to finish. Because you don't even know if this client is going to ever be satisfied. You can tell from the first conversation that this client is trouble. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the worst thing you want for yourself is trouble. Because if you are stuck in one video, it can affect your next five. set of yes. yeah, your next five videos. One problematic client can yeah, affect your deliverables can, for exactly. every other year. So most times when I just, I mean, I'm a very... I take out time to study people a lot. Like, yeah. I'm very, very... I just want to know where you really want to be. Do you even know what you want? There are some clients that don't know what they want. Mm. Do you understand? If I give you this video, are you going to take it? There are some crazy... There are some big songs that are out there that I was supposed to shoot. Yeah. Very big songs. But sometimes I just look at it and be like, this is going to be a lot of... <laughs> this is going to be a lot of problem. Do you feel, do you feel drained? Sometimes, but every time, <laughs> I don't say every time, but like of yeah, times. it's part of it's part of the it's part of the job, you know. Because like to whom much is given, much, much is expected. Yeah. So I, I can't complain, you know. Yeah. But this year I'm chilling. This year, beginning of the year, it's crazy how things I see actually come to pass. Mm. Beginning of the year, I said I wanted to shoot twelve videos, mm. and that's like the lowest amount of videos I've shot, bro. Trust me, this year. I think I've shot the 12 already, but like that's the lowest I've shot. But like that's the biggest budget I've ever shot. Mad. Dance. So like going coming into the year, that was like the agenda that I don't want to just be on TV. I want to come out like a big masquerade. Every time I'm coming out, it has to be it. Yeah. Beginning of the year, I just said, yo, this year, I think we should do a, one video in a month. But like mm. it has to be the video. Because mm. last year we're shooting like 80 videos, 90, 100. How do you find the time? Like, how do you schedule? How do you sleep? Bro, sometimes we used to, in, as a 2021, 
2019, I was shooting like four videos a week. What? Bruh, I was coming, I'll go to set, come back 12 midnight. Show, I was shuffling producers. I have, I had other producers doing uh -huh. it. I had like three producers. So I just share every video with them. So I'm just going to be the guy that goes around. That goes to around. Oversee. To okay. shoot. To shoot. Yes. Then I was not even then. I, I even used carry camera myself. The producer so like, does the setup. Yeah, the producer okay. I just, and yeah. Okay. I just make sure, I just give the producer money, tell him or her everything I need. And then I'm just going to show up on the set. I'll come back from shoot like one. By six, I'm up. Bath, jump on some nice drip, enter moto, go to set. It was a drill, but I mean, that was how I was able to be the guy. Yeah. But now, no more. Yeah, you can't be doing that. But this I will tell you, Are guys. You... Can you, as you can see, hard work, hard work pays. <laughs> Not you... every time mental health. Um, sorry, 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 sorry. I feel like we need to. Sorry, can go. go. Uh, Not every time <laughs> mental health. Hard work pays. <laughs> What's the truth? Hard work you guys, pays. please, let's not do that. Let's yeah, not do that. The truth. No, let's not do that, hard please. Work. You can't. Please, in this game, CG. it's hard work. Yes. So, so, what up? So, wait. Don't, don't enter the agenda. Smart work. CG. But see, your body guys tell you. So. Bro. CG, let me say something. Don't enter Excel and Tolan is. <laughs> He's don't not wait. Don't it's enter the life. agenda. It's they, real life. Oh, let me tell you the agenda. Hey, hey, God. These boys, they have an agenda against. I'm not not, boy, not bro. against. This what man. are you? CG. <laughs> oh God! Okay, these men yeah. they have this thing where they don't. I feel like they don't know how to find balance. They are of ah. the yes. They are ah. of the opinion sometimes that um lots of people in our generation tend to use mental health as a reason not Nobody to. Nobody said their mental health for this street too. <laughs> <laughs> you see that I mental? Will... <laughs> see the honest truth is here. The honest truth is here. Society right now. Society right now tends to um, try to like console people, make people feel like, yeah, but I'm more in the game, nobody send your mental health. Bro, see, no people are even out to, your opponents are out to destroy your mental health. <laughs> <laughs> see, if they see say your mental health day week, first attack. Boom. Boom. So like, see, I know I understand that, yeah, mental health, you need to take yeah. out time and all of that. But... Bro, yeah. that's this. Those are some of the prizes you have to pay for greatness. Some of the what? greatest people don't sleep, bro. Don't see, don't sleep. some of the greatest people. I'm sorry to say this, but most of them, you see, most of them end up with drug addiction and all of that because their their mind is so stressed, bro. Nobody, if I go on Twitter and one person they drag me but, somewhere, but don't you think that? But with me, I came, I came to understand that. Most people don't, most people are trying to use their mental health to climb. Mm. Nobody say they even send their mental health like that. Mm. They're trying to finish you so that people for engagement. People don't even like the people you are protecting your mental health from are there to scatter your mental health. <laughs> but don't but don't you think that we can find I feel like for me the conversation should be about balance, right? For lots of creative wow. people. Now even you didn't now, even balance, say that. So, for balance. You never used to wow. say that. Excellent. I'm not now you have changed. Wow. You I'm never used to your say mental that. Health, me your mental that. health is not in your hands. Hmm. Especially for creatives. Hmm. Do you understand? The power to control your mental health. The only ability you have is the ability to like make yourself bulletproof, like strong-hearted. Yeah. Because if the only the reason why your mental health is tormented is because of people's reactions to your life, mm. then it's not even in your powers. Mm. Mm. So what are you gonna do in that situation? Take the power out of their hands. Exactly. Mm. So like even this mental health you are talking about, what's the mental health? <laughs> Wait, before you answer, guys, <laughs> we are going on a break. <laughs> the, the fire continues. <laughs> Full episode Shut out up. on Monday. Shut what's up. the mental health you are talking about? So teach you mental... would you like to go to, to a police station one day? Because if you want to do mental, mental health, health you go wrong, each... go inside bush. If you want to this girl, follow that go with it. CG, please let me ask her. <laughs> would she like to go to a police station? No, 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 station Melody, imagine say you did play. I'm not say. I can't send to you. My mental health. I would understand, mental understand mental that because he, his it, mental health is... If you're on a plane as a pilot, as a brick that say, oh, I can't fly this way. You understand? Your mental health is a papa business. <laughs> My mental health. The job, the job has to be done. I feel like for, we need to find balance when it comes to this, for, when it comes <sighs> to you, work you, and mental you health that, that, conversation that, that, because that, you can't just, we can't just keep telling people that they need to keep going because you will break down. People that are talking about The honest truth is here, the honest truth is here, you... It's up to you. 
because the game is not going to wait for you. If you Do feel you like guess? your mental health is stressing you, don't go to loss. <laughs> it's up to you, like your me- <laughs> Step me. See, I just got back from a break. I was out for three months. Three months. Yeah, I was in I was in New York for three months. I was not shooting. I was just chilling. Do you understand? I won't say because of mental health per se, but like I needed to also rest. Well, you can and afford that. My- you can afford that. Yes, mm-hmm. because. I just you understand there are some projects you collect you go just be chill mental went through hell so that I can do this exactly thing. yes I born my mental health to take <laughs> buy clothes take cover around <laughs> are you how do you feel about Nigeria how do I feel about Nigeria With everything happening Nigeria is a jungle the f- <laughs> did you vote did, 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 did you I vote? vote no I was in essay was that intentional it yes. was in essay no I mean it was intentional that you did intentional yeah, yeah I'm asking I didn't why vote. I feel like I'm the only person worthy to rule. <laughs> so probably when I'm president, I'm going to vote myself. You want to vote? You want to run Is this office? life? This is live TV. Yo. Are we live right yeah. now? Yes, we are. Oh, we're on the commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> There's some political things I don't like to talk about, but personally, yeah, self-belief. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Self-belief, I don't believe in democracy. I'm sorry to say. I feel like how you man we were created, we were supposed to be led by, like, South, we were supposed to be led by kings, and all of that. Yeah. I feel like democracy is a freaking scam in the sense that because mm. the those influential influential or uh, influential or super rich people yeah. can always buy their way through. Not the, around the world, but I know in Africa. Because once as long as hunger is still a Prevalent. tool, then democracy will always have a price. Mm. Mm. Do you understand? As long as they have weaponized hunger. Say that yeah. again. As long as hunger it's still is still a tool, a tool democracy, will always, democracy have a price. will always have a price. Because it's just, if I am Bill Gates, I will go to a country like, let's say, even Nigeria, and look for most influential person and give him $2 billion. I'd be like, become president, I need some percentage of the country from you. That's all you need. If I yeah. give you $2 billion, you bro, better he's not even going to take mandates. anything off his pockets. He's not even going to read. If you take $2 billion from somebody that has $200 million, he's not going to take anything from him. And $2 billion, he will run a successful campaign. Facts. Throw bread to everybody. Get the craziest thugs. Give them the craziest guns. People are ready to fund the ammunition. Buy all the votes. Stand online. Give everybody dollars. And then, what, what, do you understand? Long mm-hmm. as there are some countries that can't happen because people are... Uh, people can afford a good life and everything but in Africa where hunger is a weapon I'd never think or else, yeah, the or else the people are actually okay and they can vote because they like the person not because bro I Get see people skin. throwing bread bro bread one bread back you go come vote when I was young I can't lie I would witness people selling their vote 5k you go look say I don't know this one I don't know this one let me just even vote the one that gave me 5k yeah. like cash or in fact they can't the money come out ourselves where did you grow up? I grew that's up, what, that's yeah. where I was going. Then I carried the cash. Pa, 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 after I had God, you can't vote five kids. You were here in Lagos. Yeah, I grew up here. Where? Where? What? Agungi. Agungi. Oh, yeah. yeah. Are you yeah. a Yoruba boy? No, I'm not. Where are you from? I'm from Cross River. What? But Pronounce was, your surname, bro. Omori. Not Omori. Omori is my surname. Thank okay. God, Omori Jessam. Yeah. Oh, so the thing is, thank God. Yeah. Mad. Dog. Every time I'm passing through immigration, they'll be like, thank God. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, everybody's always like, thank God. What family did you grow up in, though? Um, I mean, I grew up in cool, you know, Christian, I don't say middle class, but like common, you know. My mom was a teacher. My dad was in the civil service, you know, like mid, uh, middle class. Way. Not middle class, so now one room, bedroom, now me and my mama, my papa, I grow one room face to face, face me and face. <laughs> That's like not middle full class. Street. That's not middle class. Not middle, middle class now. Nah, Lower middle two class. Two bedroom. One yeah. face my face, you mm-hmm. cook your stove there outside your house. No kitchen. Like your room there, your stove there. You go put stove inside carton. When you raise the pause. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. In case you missed any of that, the full episode, audio and video. Oh, you don't want to miss it at all. Did you know has been on your roll? Please keep going. Please keep going. Yeah, I mean, growing up. One room, me, my mama, my papa. Good thing because of how tight it is, my brother had to go to like boarding school or school outside, you know. So, um, 
full ghetto vibe when it rains it pours you know it's always flooded like this like this we would all go find cement yeah carry bed go up and i was hell like flood now nah, going to school you know i went to Kurama college vi here so always jump buses sometimes go tamo bus for back no transport the roland kashi you ain't even vibe you know but like um good thing for me church really played a vital role in my life because mm. my church had a lot of elites you know people that were like well learned you know yeah so anytime i'm in church uh the people i was around with also helped shape my life you yeah. know because i go home and i'm in the ghetto I go to church and mix with a lot of posh people. Hmm. You know, so like there was a balance. And it, yeah, hmm. we dream. So and in church, they love me a lot because one thing about me, I can bring out a storyline for a drama on the spot. Hmm. So even if the youths, even from children church, even if the youths are having difficulty trying to bring up a story for Sunday drama, yeah. if I just show like this, what's the problem? What's the theme of today's service? Ba 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 bam. In like one hour, we have a so drama. The church gave you an avenue to express. Yeah, the, I was like from children's church. I was like the drama leader in the whole area in the zone. Yeah, you know, so like they knew that is something I could do. The church advised me to go to film school. Wow! wow. The church advised. Yeah. The church advised you. Yeah, to in go fact, to film they school. paid for my film school. The church paid That's for your film school. Do you, do you want to mention it all the church? Yeah, it really. Is. It was a really church. Fountain of love. I, 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 and I think I've seen. I've read a story of a video director to in Nigeria. I talked about church helping. I think it was director you know, like, Pink or so. I think on a general level, the church. I think you said yeah. church like, too. I was trying to. Yeah. I was trying to go to. I was trying to go to the uni. Jam jam me first time. I was <laughs> very smart, but I what don't. What year know. was this? It was twenty. 2012, mm. jam jammy. 2013, I did my jam again. It wasn't so crazy, but that could get me into a film school. Mm. You know, so like, I was sitting in a panel of, because they love me a lot, especially the pastor wives. I was like that young child. Yeah. So they were like, because they were all waiting for my jam result. They wanted me to go to school. They were willing. Because with me, my brother was in school. Papa no fee paid two children school fees. Hmm. So me, I was very, very focused because everybody loved me in church. So like, I had people that were willing that if you have good grades, if they were ready. I will pay for your school fees. So like, because I was actually very, very active. So it was like a panel that, what grade did you have? That, that, when I filled jam, or when jam, when jam, jam, I was, that was the first time I experienced depression because like, hmm. I, I saw sponsors and everybody that was willing to like I knew my dad could not afford to send me and my brother to school at the same, same time, time. And, you and then I willing. had sponsors and then boom I blew my jam result hmm. and you know how these things be you don't know if they are going to still be in the next mood year. next year yeah. so like the whole year I was like I could not I was depressed I was home I was not feeling myself Hmm. Then jump came again. That was the first time I, I was feeling defeated. I was so nervous writing. Hmm. Bruh, it was hell. I was just 16 then. Hmm. Then I went to write jam again. I didn't get my cutoff mark to get into uni. Hmm. Hmm. But like, when they said, they were like, okay, but like, you could get, a film school can still admit you with this. That was when the first, that was the first time a film school conversation came up. Then I didn't even know about film school. It was one of the women that were like, I see this advert about Pefty. Wow, you went to Pefty? Yeah. What? While I didn't get after I watched Papa Jasko, he sees advert about Pefty. What Pefty did for me? Yeah. They didn't really give me all the crazy avenue to see cameras and all that, yeah. but I like, put me in a place with other creatives that had the same dream. Mm. You understand? Like other young boys from all around Nigeria, Africa that came in to be great filmmakers. So I tapped energy from all of... Wow, I was not even wow. the classroom guy. I was the hostel guy. After school, I would sit down and analyze videos. That was when I even knew about music video directors for the first time. Mm. Wow! Trust me. I went to PFT to be an actor. Because oh. I was a very good actor in church. I was doing performing arts. And I was also very good in directing stage. I never knew that there was a career. In, I, I mean, everybody knew Clarence Peters. Yeah. But it felt like an impossible dream. Hmm. Then it's like, how do you even be like Clarence? You have to have a studio. You have to have cameras. Me and my papa, I wanted to study film production, but we could not even buy, that could not even afford to buy me a laptop to... Because if you are studying film and TV production, you, to you, you need to be able yeah. to edit. Yeah. And probably have and like a small camera. For that. 
So I was like, what's the other option? Performing arts. All you need to just be present on stage. Okay. <laughs> Let's do that one. Do you understand? Do that one. Yeah. So I was in film school, evening chats with my friends and everything that I discovered that, oh, there's a career called music video director and you don't even need to have anything. You can actually rent cameras. Hmm. If, you have, if you can convince somebody to shoot, you and can give get you the, the money. money. I use that to rent. Yes. See, today, I've never owned a camera. I've never owned a camera of my own till now? now all i have is a desktop in my office that i did music videos with so you have in part of your production large production family everything you have yeah, people I, have, yeah guys. I have rental houses about shout out about the production i have rental houses that supply my me brothers are money. <laughs> that supplies me all cameras all lights oh do you understand Charles all cameras all, so it was there i came to understand that oh so like just because there were there are some people that came there to be music video directors oh yeah is there any one of them that's like known now that was in your class no. how oh. does this work with sorry the, the 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 fact that you don't own your own cameras right don't they? and you're working with a company that basically rents it out to you. Yeah. How does this work in terms of convenience? Because and they, finances. Because no, the finances. F- no, the financing. That mm-hmm. should be now the clients go pay now. Yeah. You go come out the things. That, but disappointment. Say, yeah, like Disapp- for example, they could have another client yeah, good, that has exactly. something. Exactly. Um, I mean, so how do you, have you ever been thing, in that situation? Good thing, as I said, shout out to Abazi because yeah, she's yeah, been so able Abazi. to find balance. Find like he has. He has a like lot. Thirty six major cameras. Uh, what? What? The only thing like he has red. Ari, LF, Sony, he has an Arsenal, he has crazy lights. Huh. And we also have other guys too. We have like over four heavy rental houses in Nigeria. It, rental houses really save the industry. Yeah. That's another angle. People don't props them enough. Yeah. But even though they are making their money and it's a business. Yeah. But rental houses has helped a lot of news. Right now, to be, to be a director is so easy. that That's why we have a lot of on big directors in the game right now because damn <laughs> CG fire gone no 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 but like <laughs> what's true <laughs> yeah because now you can direct just get a producer you can get now you can even get a DOP you can get an editor you can just you can get everything just no show up points. just show up and be like I'm the director long as you have a story in your head you can have hire your client. You, yeah and you have your I tell people yeah there's nothing like a best director Mm. or best video mm. do you understand because if you have a good budget you can always shoot the last video because mm. I mean art is not sport it's in sport you can have like the best because it's like it's measured by power both of you run whoever reached there first is and the it's... best but the last video you shot if I watch it I'll, I'll shoot it it's short for me and the other guys that are short for two they'll shoot after you they'll, I'll shoot it do you understand the, thing, the only thing that is there they can be the biggest so there's no best director. I don't. There's no best director. So you don't think no you're better than anybody. I don't think I'm better than anybody. No, I think I'm better than everybody. Okay. And the other man too should also have that level of confidence because hmm. that's the only way you can hmm. operate. Hmm. This... I believe, my, like, if you shoot a video and it's mad, I have. I feel like I have the ability to have shoot it. This reminds me of when um, you critiqued Sound City Awards. <laughs> Um, when they put out the nomination list and they put the best music videos, yeah. but they put they credited the artists, Artist, not yeah, the directors. That was yeah. wild, though. Yeah. yeah no, was I was like, no, I'm not going to take that. Yeah. You know, and, and, they, and the craziest thing is, I called a couple directors, and they were so scared hmm. Hmm. because the game. See, I've suffered a lot of faces in the industry because of how outspoken I am and my social media presence. Hmm. Hmm. The game has been has been manipulating a lot of creatives and has also shut a lot of creatives up. Mm. Do you understand? Because they always make you feel like there are options. So one thing I did for myself, I built a religion or a fan base or a core fan base whereby I can sell whatever I want to sell. If it, I don't say intentionally, but yeah, intentionally. Over, over time. Over time. Intentionally, yeah, too. Because like, I have followership. I have people... If I step outside here, trust me, sometimes it's crazy. Sometimes I don't even step out because, like, I'm not even a musician. But, like, yeah, why do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. These are some of the things that has been able to shut down a lot of directors. So, with this, you can't. If an artist. If an artist. Blacklist you. Blacklist you. Or a certain platform blacklist you, you're out. 
Mm. Do you understand? Yeah. So and you, you are going to go hungry. So you have to be, yes, sir. Mm. Yes, sir. Don't if anything I give you, you take. Don't have opinion. You don't have opinion. But I'm building a new generation of directors whereby you can stand for yourself. Mm. If the industry say, okay, TJ, I don't want to shoot you again. I'll shoot my own movie. And I'm sure I have a few people that are ready to want to watch. Yeah. Or I will sell my clothes. <laughs> Bro, I've made more personal money from brands trying to get me to wear that stuff or make appearances than the profits I've made from music videos. And I'm not joking. Are you for real? I'm for real. That's why the fact that people say that your, your music videos are expensive? Yes. The thing is, yeah, with music videos, the budget is never enough. That's why I said personal profit. Yeah. If I get 100 million around now, I want to shoot the video for 120 million. I'd be like, ah, 100 million, I can't do more. You have shot a 100 million now. Yeah, million. I shot a couple. <laughs> Wait, you have? Because yes. David O's feel yeah. is one of them, I think. Yeah. He said that on you an get, interview. I shot a couple. That's why they say I'm chilling. I just shoot a couple. My God. <laughs> that and do you know the craziest thing? 100 million. Do you know the craziest thing? You get the money and it's never enough. Wait. Because that's the time you remember that from Etbe to some girl that I want to shut it down. I want to on shoot a <laughs> on a yeah. Sunday. Wait. I want to shoot. That's the you have that vision. That yes. It's possible. You're not Bro. saying that it's possible. I yeah. can actually make it happen. That's the thing. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to wrap my head around 100 million naira. No, they go and get money. It's shut coming. Up. The video is coming and you see it. No, they don't think about it. It's okay. It's okay. You guys like, shut up. Don't stress your mental health Please. thinking about it. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I want to ask a question. Yeah. Like, we started talking about how the first time you spoke with Ashake and you told him to go get 5 million naira. Yeah. Fast forward to now, you're shooting 100 million naira. Right. In, in just four years. In just four years? Three years, actually. So and all of these things were prophecies. I've said it. I'm going to a million dollars soon, man. Did you, did you, when you shoot a hundred million naira video, what does that mean? Does it... Does it mean that... Is that a reflection what, on the economy? Or yes, is that a reflection is it like the economy? Or is it that you or have... Or your creativity has also grown to you a point are, where you... Or you have to pay plenty of people. And also those crowd guys, you pay them individually yeah, because individually, you bring a lot of yeah, them. Yeah, individually. So here's the thing, yeah. Just call um, me for crowd vocals. I'm... I'm trying to grow, like, Please. I'm trying to, we are trying to uh, level up within, I mean, Afrobeat is growing, and we're trying to level up with international communities, mm. visually. And these people, you, you, you go, you read through, you see that Michael Jackson has done like one million naira videos, hmm. a couple of people have, uh, one million dollar, a couple of people have done two million dollars per yeah. video. Do you understand? It's only right that it's going to grow, and I want to lead mm. The tag. The video for Scream with Jenna Jackson. Yeah, yeah, like the six, one that, yeah, six, it was like, yeah, it was like, I think, $3 million or something. Do you understand? So, there are some clients, if you tie these things in dollars, it's just one twenty k dollars. Actually. Do you understand? So, like, it's not, it's not like it's that crazy. Hey, God. Because, crazy. bro, see, I've probably started the color money. <laughs> 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 Yeah. But I'm not my eyes is not on nobody's money. Yeah. You feel me? But like I just feel like if the game is growing, every aspect has to grow. I agree. Because even with the dancers now, dancers I've paid I paid dancers 100 k To dance. To dance. To dance. I can dance. <laughs> Do you understand? So if like this is growing me, the whole system. Yeah. Mm. Don't understand the whole yeah. Afro, uh, I want to pull up with Lambo now. I don't try, I'm creative bro. too. Oh, I want to pull up in the Lambo. Do you understand? So, like, <clears throat> it's just a game. And then I also calculate how much I've put in yeah. my brand and all yeah. of that. You know, you got to pay me right, man. If you got the money, pay do me. it. If you don't, and aside that, the budget helps my work get better yeah. and also reduce the amount because. I'm tired of putting out 100 videos in a year. Yeah. It's I not want sustainable. To put out, yeah, I want to put out 12 and be okay. crazy yeah, videos in a year. Do you understand? Yes. If, no you do like, if you do like 1,200 million naira videos, is that something that's like that you, what? That you, that you, that you have to pick up <laughs> on a mom's side? Bro, is that something that you have to pick I'm up I'm thinking from? the morning. Is that, some, is that a learning that you picked up from the old, from guys from the old generation? Or is it something that you just made, you you discovered by um, yourself? With me, demand was crazy. Hmm. Especially last year, demand. See, I was losing my mind sometimes. Mm. Demand was crazy. So, also to balance demand. Do you mm. understand? Because it's only when you're in demand that you can actually make demand. Yeah. Because yeah. when you get off demand, yeah. you can't make no demand. And that huh. demand you make are also going to help 
Because, bro, you no matter what you want, no matter how creative you are, if you have two million and I have 100 million, nah, they're not born you here. No matter how creative you are. So the money is also going to help the creativity. Mm. Period. Do you understand? So that is also going to stand you out from a lot of... If you just come out like Big Mouth School it every time, do it. right now, I'm fine with shooting five videos a year, but it's, it has to be major. One video, three months vacation. My. Oh, because your money is heavy. <laughs> exactly. No, Titi, with the money you collect, no, you, can, you can do six months. That's the thing. That's how it should be. But that money is not heavy, I swear to God. The money that is coming... <laughs> It's heavier. <laughs> no, what the, what the, no what? stop, no settle. Never you settle. Shot, you shot. But we don't suffer. But we're shooting two, two million naira. Hmm. Four in a week. Two, two million. That's eight million naira. Okay. In a week. Huh. Eight million naira. Like you are on set every day. And your videos, food TV. Will you rather do eight video, yeah. four videos for eight million in or a week one or do months. one in three months for like 200 million? I agree. I agree. You shot. Um, <laughs> and then that video the will shut down the not even just Nigeria, the whole of Africa. Nobody's gonna fear you. But these things don't come like that. Yeah. You can't wake up and build Be doing up. those things. You go down work. You go down build your image. Your you build your, your brand. brand. Yeah, your name has to be it. If you, uh, bro, which record label will sign the money for you? That's the thing. Because if you, you tell her that I want to shoot with uh, in KT films, she wants to give me this. Who, Who is that? that? Yeah. That one is this. I don't know you. Is, is there an artist that you would say, I would like to shoot this person, even though their money is not up to my money? Yeah. That's Do you know that till going. now? He did it now. Do you know Shady till now? I shot Shady Wami oh, for yeah, free. That's how I was going. See, now there for are some free. videos I came back. When I, I got back, like three weeks ago, there are some videos I did for less because the songs, I love them. Hmm. There are sometimes there are some songs I see and I'll be like, ah, if, if I don't shoot this video, this guy might miss the direction. Oh. Hmm. I might miss a moment too. For yeah, he him might miss, for, yeah, he might a miss moment a moment. For the artist Do you understand? I mean, hmm. I'm very, like, I love music too, apart from. So there are some songs I listen to, I'll be like, ah, ah I if have. I don't shoot this video for this guy, hmm. he's going to miss it. And I know the artist wants me to shoot it, but he. It deep down in his mind, he do go on with Yawa himself. Mm. So he goes, that's the way he did. Yeah. So when I'll be like, yo. What do you have? You go, ah, send it. Let's do this. Pull up. This is the location. Let's create madness. I've done that series of times. Are you for real? Yes, I've shot. The last you did that for? Ah, I can't. I don't yeah, want to. He knows the name. But, but, yeah. but, 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 the thing is that you have to also have what I want. Hmm. Apart from just like Money. the music, yeah. And the the music has to be the song. Because I don't want to shoot a song that is just there. And so, then I'll shoot... A, imagine me doing, like stressing myself to shoot a video that I know that the song is not even big or it's just going to end up in your... In your, in your cupboard. For me to shoot a, a low-budget video for you, I just know that I'm supporting you because I know that the song is I good like enough. I like the music. Yeah, to the travel. song is good enough to travel. And I know that at this point, you don't have the capability. Mm. So I'm just trying to support the way that I you can, can do. Not that I just go around shooting anything for less mm. because I'm always going to drain myself. That's what mm. I'm even running from. Because mm. yeah. right now, the song has to be good. Mm. So because of the budget, you say you don't hear your song 50 times. <laughs> Make sure. Make sure. Say, this man, I'll go pay. This man, I'll go pay like this. You want them? Did you want this thing going on between you and Black Bones? No, before we go there, we were talking about his life story. We sort of diverted. Okay, yeah. I mean, how, many how many siblings do you have? I have two. I have a sister, a stepsister, and a brother. Stepsister? Yeah. Oh. Okay. And a younger brother, or older brother? The last born. You're the last born? Yeah. Um. So when was the time you actually? We have thirty minutes, Tolani. To go, you need to be checking time. <laughs> we have a little bit. We have thirty minutes, yes. bro. When was minutes. the time that you actually then make the move? Okay, so in film school, I was in film school for like a year and a half. Everything was good, but like I just look and say, "Oh, my time no day again." My friend, my roommate there in Osage, he was he was a camera guy before I even came to film school. Mm. He used to do events and all of that. So he had camera experience. Me, I had no camera experience. So even all of us, school fees no day again. Me, I got tired of... I got bored of going to church to ask for money. Mm. 
You understand? Because sometimes you don't want to operate like that. Because so many send invoice, send receipts, all of that. Yeah. I was like, I think I should be able to work my money. Because mm. yeah, me, personally, I don't even know how to ask anybody, even my parents. I don't know how to ask people for anything. Mm. So when film school, we were all broke. No money for school fees. They don't push us from school for school fees. No school fees. <laughs> so all of us do still, they look at ourselves like this. What next? But again, I got a job in the company in Keja to do events and some cinematography work. I think it was like 50K then. Ah, big boy. So I get on see work. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What year so, was this? This was 2014. This was 2014. 50K. I be 60K. Gaza, full Gaza. Ah, all over <laughs> here. You see how I get on see work. Cool. Then I was in film school. I was just there. Sometimes I stay in the hostel. No money to go back to lectures. Mm. Exam self, they are not back. Then, where Osage was, his boss, then Mr. Bukia Luko, needed a scriptwriter for, he wanted to shoot um, skits or series. I think he was trying to shoot it for like a company. He was trying to sell. That was like, that was the time online TV started popping up a lot. That was when Officer Titus, uh, yes, the, is he, no, sorry. Um, that last one officer from GTB, that, there's one officer that was the last one official that was stopping motors. Well, was stopping people on the yeah, road. Yeah, on the road. It was I not titles, from... but I remember it. Yeah. I can't remember the movie? name. I can't remember. No, it's no, like no, no. skits. It's the like YouTube skits. skits. I see it on ah, it, was, it was funny. That was like when skits were... I don't know. I got those here. Yeah. TV. A sense of humor is dead. Uh, Nadi TV or something. Yeah. Yeah. Danny. 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 Danny, yeah. So that skit was popular. So people were seeing... Chale- people were seeing uh, how far that stuff was going. So a lot of people, a lot of media houses were when trying to also okay. go in that direction. Shoot, yeah. 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 So they reached out. Then Osagi told that I know one of his classmates that is very good. Me, she even had the right story. Uh, as I, I be right. <laughs> so that was very good. With, that I was super creative. I can bring out 500 stories for people now. The man said, okay, bring him. Me, I went there. It was cool, but I figured that they were not yeah, so actually serious. right. It's officer titles. I just checked. Yeah, officer titles. Yeah. Mm. Then I got there. They said I wanted to do a police officer stuff. They needed somebody to do it. They was like, ah, I can write and I can act. So they said, yeah, okay, do write for yourself, be the character. That, that was the picture. No, he posted it. Okay, oh, that picture was even it. for Papa Jasko. That was like oh. a year after. Oh, that I, have, that I have experience in acting police. He said, <laughs> <laughs> so, just give me the money. I'm going to do it. Bro, so I started writing. I started writing for them. I wrote a lot of episodes. And then we started shooting. I was like, okay, this was my breakthrough. I was like, oh, I'm now a character for some mm. media house. Yeah. I thought that was it, you know. I started writing, but I figured that I think they tried to sell it and then the people were not moving right and all oh. of that. So the energy was dying down. The man felt like he was wasting money. money. Mm. Then it was like, are we going to kick, kick this guy out? Or, But me, I was not ready to be kicked out because <laughs> I just wanted to be around creatives. Yeah. I just wanted to be in the media house. Yeah. So they stopped paying me. They were paying me like 20K then. That they stopped paying me. So I can't now I'm stuck because we're sleeping in the studio. Now I can't go back home. I can't go back to school. So I'm stuck with sleeping in the vocal booth in the studio because like you wait for everybody to go because they had like a vocal booth where they do voiceovers. So you wait for everybody to go. And the only reason why I stayed in the vocal booth was because that was the only chilled place and where mosquito could not access. <laughs> if you sleep in any other place, you are dead. So the vocal booth was the only place you have access to on the AC. So when everybody are done with work by five and they're off the old gen and everything, but the way they don't earn his money, go it serve us till 3 a.m. But from 3 a.m. is where you're good. <laughs> so, Man. Man. Bro, so Man. We, me, Osagi, and a couple friends were living in this. We were staying in the vocabulary before office resumed. Four years, we don't run, go back here, go back. Fast, I pss, dress up. Me, I get my bag somewhere, wear my drip back to... So I was just like... I was not needed in the office, but me, I was just guys with them. I was just there. Midnight, when everybody's gone and there's light, I go to the editing system. I try to, that was where I learned how to edit by myself. Mm. Nobody taught me, so I'll go on YouTube. So I was just playing with the systems and everything. And then they had cameras. Mm. So weekends, I'll be like, nobody comes to the office. I'll be like, Osage, it's not cameras today, yo. I'm going to enter the street, I'm going to go shoot viral videos for my, my guys. It was like, but I got to talk one guy, Chooks. Chooks is here. He's going to tell a guy, I'll find like three k give Chooks here. I'm going to tell a guy, we'll go smuggle cameras. <laughs> That's true. That was how I started making music videos. What? Yeah. So like, because I had friends in the hood that could sing. So I just pick up Sony uh, Canon 5D Mark III. 
put them inside saying about carry your guy light like everything. Your guy must not know. Enter street. After the sink, stand for young computer building, carry dogs, traps with you. <laughs> <laughs> so I was shooting that, come back to the office at night, edit, it will look shitty. I'll be like, damn, I'll go go, why is this video like why? Probably have so much grains, and I discovered that oh, I did not light. I just opened the ISO to like 60,000. <laughs> so the video will be burning and grains. Then I just go go how to cut down ISO tomorrow. I'll go try it again. Every weekend I was doing that, doing that, doing that, then boom. Because I'll I'll always have a story, but I did not have the picture. So I was perfecting the picture, but the storyline, the general creativity was, still, was, was there. there. Like it was like inbuilt. If I show up, I would, I would definitely bring out something. So that was it. Though. And then I was shooting, shooting, shooting. I became v- popular in the hood. Everybody knew me. Ah, TG the car, ah, TG, our new clients, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> That was the thing. Then people knew me and they could vouch for my creativity. So that mm. was how people were recommending me to oh. labels. Oh. Yeah. That, this was what year? This was like 2015. So one of my friends, a guy was looking for ES Plus, that was like my first major your, video. Your first major video? Yeah, ES Plus. The, 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 King Lou? The yeah, King Lou. King Lou. The label were looking for a video director or they were about to shoot a video. So one of my guys from the hood was there and they just told him that, ah, I know one guy, the guy has swag. He used to shoot a lot of videos in the hood. If you give this guy this money that you want to give this guy, I think it was like 700K. 700K, this guy has never seen 700K in his life. <laughs> if he sees it, he will go to war. He will go to war. <laughs> Oh my when I saw them invite me, I was like, pull up, I must see food drip, Gaza, Timbaland, buy that Timbaland for Kotonu, <laughs> clean and die, full, ah, that time I punk, salute everyone, <laughs> pull up, food drip, English 100%, for next small, just try me while I watch from American film, <laughs> I know I check pods before, but I watch them for film, I had to give the guy, yo, you know, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that's the title of this episode. I mean, I mean, I mean. the guy, he said Louis, he chop him. He was sold. Don't worry, swag day. Even I swag day. No worry, he was sold. I don't. If I go to a meeting, or else I don't go to the meeting. If I go to a meeting with you, you'll okay, finish you go, no worry. That's you'll the thing. Most people, yeah. I know how to always play around. Like I let you talk, and then I pattern, I pattern you proper. Mm. You understand? So. We did some nice patterning. They trusted me, even though they did not see any video. Give me money, boom. Even though the videos they saw were like viral 50-50k videos. Trusted me, we shot that video. That was my first time I seen my, my video on Sound City. I wanted to run mad. What was the artist? ESP. Yes, plus. They, are, they, are, they used to be a group, but they have parted now. Yes, plus. You understand? That was the first time I seen a vid- my video on Sound City MTV base. I was sitting like this. I was like, God damn it. I don't I know. Know. Ah, I know. No. I'm, in. I'm, I'm the guy. Bruh, but I knew. Everybody that saw that video reached out to me. That was how crazy it is. Hmm. I won't say everybody, but like but, most people, like yeah. my phone was buzzing. Since then, it's just been like this. Oh, Man. shout out to King Glue. So what was the next one that you did? It was Means. You know Means? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Means that did war. Yeah. His record label see you as at that time. Called me from Atlanta that he has an artist in Nigeria. His name is Means. I was like, okay, that you saw a video I did for these guys that wants me to do a video for him. I was like, yeah, sure, let's do it. They will show the video. On the day we were shooting, I think he was I think he was in Babcock then or he just graduated. All his friends from Babcock came. I know those ones were musicians. Where they come, they still see swag again. Those ones said, chop the swag. They chop the swag. You understand? Those so ones they see, go with full dream, yeah, go your video set. Those ones said, go find 400 k come outside. Same, so clientele don't choke like that. I had Chusa, I had Bad Moss, I had all those Babcock boys then. So all the artists in Babcock, Jimmy, Jimmy Abdul, all of them, all of them went to go and look for money. They go every team, 400, 300, 500, 500. Like, so clients don't first be like, I don't get like 10, I saw company start. God, God damn. <laughs> so from there, I shot Bad Moss and uh, I shot Jimmy Abdul's and Mio Kun Scum. That was when I met the, oh, yeah. So me came. So as I don't shoot that video, me Okun, me Okun, ah, that time me Okun, the hot, hottest. He said, because he can call chopper. I use the video, yeah, the pattern. So I, shot, I know they call the other artists now, the featured artists. I shot a video for me Okun, what you mean? <laughs> <laughs> what you saying? What you saying? So me, I was not using it to, and then uh, lucky people, do, uh, for some weird fan base was growing. Yeah. Swag day, 100, that one sure. Nobody, swag day. 
<laughs> so, Bro, when did the social media now the swag viral thing come from? Now the swag is it good swag? But but you know you spoke about <laughs> you know you know you, you spoke about the industry and the industry loving the culture of silence and yeah. wanting creatives to always koto yeah and ah, all of that to, to always to bow ah. <laughs> Well, and you right. are like a total opposite of it. Yeah. And I said, there's a video that made rounds. Um, do you see the Neo video where he was apologizing for having an opinion about how parents should raise their children and stuff like that? So he has to come back to apologize yeah. of that video that he made talking right. about, you know, um, sexuality and stuff. He apologized. he apologized. No, there was a statement that was released. That was yeah, released. But it wasn't from him. He was complaining no, that no, no, he was, 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 was on his Instagram that his story that his But his statement was, was his publicist. Long yeah. and short, he has to apologize for his statement, right? Yeah. And how do you navigate that space of being vocal and not getting scared to be cancelled on Twitter? Yeah, you know, <clears throat> with me, <clears throat> I was very clear with my brand when I started. When I started, <clears throat> my brand was strictly wayward. They used to call me wayward. Yeah. Okay, so like, I'm not even trying to, I'm not like, not trying to control. Control. yeah, I'm not trying to be a nice guy. You get like, but at the same time, I'm not stupid. Hmm. It's a thin line of being vocal. Yeah, vocal and being stupid. Like, before you talk, do you even have what to say? Do you understand? Like, yeah. I need time to speak and people will listen. And when do you speak? Do you understand? Like, hmm. before you talk, you guys, because any word that has gone out, has gone out, has gone out. So, the things you are saying, is it going to empower or destroy? Mm. Do you understand? So you have to be very, very sure about what you're saying. Mm. So I don't just wake up and just yarn. It's either I know that what I'm saying is out here too. And most of the times, most my fan base are people that my words has been able to encourage or make them feel free. Like today I can wake up and be like, yo, I need a fat ass to say on my face. You actually say so a lot of people feel that way, but they can't say it. So you're representing them. Yeah, sometimes I speak for my people. <laughs> and your people need oh, a father. Yes. <laughs> sometimes really? I don't speak for myself. Is sometimes it for your speak, people? Yeah, I speak this, this for my people. This is calling hey, you to hey, do hey. more. They love me. And I love them too. Those are my people. Sometimes I don't speak from where I am. I speak from where I feel like you should be. People, yeah, because we are see that one million of like that one billion of us out there that feel the same way and anytime we see ourselves from a distance we can connect from a distance i feel like that's what brings that's why some musician music makes sense to some people because they're saying that story yeah you understand there are a lot of us out there Triple you F understand it's the art that brings us together hmm. you feel me so yeah, I was going to ask the question. You and Black Bones have this back and forth, you guys. Uh, you know, is it real? Is it real? Black Bones, Black Bones, Black Bones, Black Bones is just is, is trying to use me to prosper. Black Bones is trying to use you to prosper, <laughs> and it's my guy. I let him shine. He make him shine. He make him shine. <laughs> See, Black Bones' biggest video was the TJ Mori banter. That's when the back in uni, everybody wanted to watch the video because they had to, if you can't afford TJ Mori, use the TJ Mori name. Hmm. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, um, it's understandable. It's my guy. Not like we hang out or all of that, but like, long as he has not been disrespectful yeah. to me or anything, let the young get shine because I can't lie, since the whole band that thing started, his career has actually gone. I told him to give me 10%, you know, but like, I let it slide because... But he's, he, he's, he's a great marketing guy, though. <laughs> exactly. He's a great As marketing guy. As for that once, he make no live at home. Tomorrow, you see two TJ Murray. So, I mean, like the young nigga, as he's, he's, he's winning. Yeah, he's winning. They make respectful. Shine. But what would be disrespectful if... if uh, yeah, if in Jabo, if in Jabo, you know, Jabo, like, don't, like, I don't have issues with you. It's all cool and everything, but, like, there should be a limit. You know... Yeah. Your boundaries don't speak ill of my name and all. If it's the whole music video at TJ Mora, we all know that nobody be like Omori for the game. You understand? They make go just the, like he's just a young that artist direct is not the first time. Chris Brown directs most of his videos. Yeah. That series of artists is okay. Like it's okay, yeah, in so. fact, do you know the craziest thing? Since when me and Black Bones have been shooting, 50% of the concepts come from him, even though it's always stupid concept like he likes to joke a lot with his videos yeah that is like but like 50 percent of the concept even when we used to shoot he always brings ideas he's that kind of guy yeah that so like he can always do it i don't think he's gonna i don't think his videos are ever gonna flop yeah you understand because it, there are some artists in the country that i know that our videos are never gonna flop because this music video thing is not especially now it's not as hard as it used to be hmm. that's music videos 
is not directing one music video is not as hard as it used to be. The problem is, can you do another one and another one and another one and another? Can you make it a career? If as you do like this now, if they give you six months and fifty million naira to shoot a video, you are definitely gonna give us a crazy video. Even you. So, so give me For that real. Movie. The honest truth is that you know what a good video should be like. Fair. Do you understand? You so if they idea. give you a full crew and, and your money, budget. you are going to pull oh. it out. You're going to shoot some time. Exactly. Shoot. With time. So kill, like, kill, kill to me, I've never really I've never really seen anybody and looked down on him that I can't pull up a crazy video. As mm. long as you have time and budget, I don't think, I see no reason why. The problem is, can you do one, two, three, three four, four, and all of them bangs? That is when mm. you are the guy. Bro, I've been holding it down since 2019, back to back. Do you understand? That is why you are the guy. Because the moment you drew one and the cancel, two flops, that is, bro, forget about it. Do you understand? The game is even very impatient. You guys, hmm. so, so, like, with Black Bones, I never ever think it's going to, like, I've never for once thought to myself that it's going to go on set and flop. No, no. like, why? He has all the time in the world. He probably has the budget. He has good DPs. He has good crew. You understand, but and he's creative. For me, I just feel like the guy he happy did TJ Mori banter once and had the biggest song or video of his career. So he's enjoying the waves. But let him just bring my 10%. Well, what's funny is also like I think the video that made a lot of people say, Ooh, that guy was also a black bones video. Shut up. Yeah. Yes, yep. that is what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, shut yeah. up was all my idea still, because that time black bones was still very very young, so I was d- dealing more with AQ, you know. Uh, so I think that was yeah, the first, AQ. yeah. So I think that was like the second video. I was dealing more with AQ and loose cannon. That was a loose Yeah. So yeah, then that video was that video was very very daring. Was very yeah, so everybody video. was like, "Who's very this guy?" Video. You know. So Black, honestly, he's like one of my Chuck City are like one of my favorite clients. Like we've done me and Chuck City, we've done series of videos. Black is my guy. As I said, we've done transactions. Do you understand? But like, as I said, you do one, you enter, you don't the carry and they go. <laughs> and me, I don't have issues. You just give me 10%. Because <laughs> <laughs> the teacher of money, they carry and they go. Because if you drop this ice spice with the teacher of money banter beside them, he just they go. <laughs> he just they go. <laughs> and I'm happy for him. Because at the end of the day, I'm part of the make I'm, I'm, I want to make him shine. shine. Because mm-hmm. he don't try. All the mates don't who hosts on camera but instead don't try for a game make himself chop it does not affect my bag yeah. Yeah. if they give us six videos in career go, in music video in his music career will crash <laughs> do you understand so I'm not even scared of him because once 15 people book him for a music video he can't go for his shows so it's not even a threat he can't direct not like he can't direct his music video but like he can't be a director be a, a career director yes he can't be a career director because if you book him straight 15 videos that is it. He's going to lose his music. You can't juggle both. That being a music video director is a crazy game. Mm. Not juggling it with music. Uh, you go wrong, man. If you want to do it, no, while I do it. <laughs> Bro, um, a lot of people have been pushing some questions that music video directors should start getting royalties from music videos. I pushed it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Was yeah, it yeah. Okay. Yeah, th- I think it was him. Okay. I think it was what him. Do you, do you still stand by that? Very much. But like, I had a lot of backlash that time and I checked and contrast or I check and balanced check everything. <laughs> and I figured that, yeah, I mean, I feel like I went back to do my own assignment. So you just have to give some certain level of, if not discount, but like there should be a certain level of impact more than just shooting the videos. To get realities. Yeah, to get realities. Because apart from your creative or your intellectual Let's say yeah, your creative attributes. I feel like some other level of you get. There are some directors that do that successfully, like Cole Bennett in the states and all of that. They successfully get realities or like the videos go through the Inst- uh, YouTube and all of that. So, but like um, we, I still stand by it, and I feel like it's just a matter of time. If my influence can blow an artist, then I should get some sort of realities. Do you understand? Like if because T.J. Murray shot the video. Do you understand? And it's like at a very good, probably discounted rate. Mm-hmm. Then yeah, but like if the artist is paying me full Fooling. money and the artist is like 
the guy. Yeah. Mm. Then there's the no need. Him, exactly. So like I've done, I've checked and balanced it, and I'll be like, okay, mm. you know what? Well, if how, you are, if you are trying to climb with a TJ Mori popularity. Yeah. Okay. Then and then I'm probably giving you a discounted price. You know. Then yeah. I mean, I just feel like it's the matter of. I don't think it's something that is supposed to be tied. I just feel like it's a matter of. It should be flexible. Yeah, it should be flexible. It should be like. Uh, should be a negotiation. Yeah. Let's sit and talk about it. Okay, you are an upcoming artist. Your label wants to push you through the TJ Murray platform, platform or popularity. Or popularity, you know, like, okay, he has a TJ Murray video. Probably they're going to want to listen. listen. Your, you get Yeah. Then, boom, we should talk about percentage, that. you know. What's your, what's, your, what's your relationship, work relationship like with Shea Vibes? What are you trying to do? Shea, Shea Vibes, Vibes <laughs> and the brand. Okay, um... Oops. Me and Shay, we are very cool, you know, like just like everybody. I put in my everything anytime I'm shooting. I have artists that we've we've done series of videos back to back in the shot. I've had I have sorry. I have Young John, I have Shay Vibes, I have um ah, I'm trying to remember now, but I have a lot of artists that yeah. I have like we've shot like six, three, four, five, five videos back to back now. You know, so I mean, Shea Vibe, like every other artist, is like that artist that believes in my creative views. Yeah. You know, I want me to also, you know, um, do the best I can do to... Bimi Debe. Yeah, <laughs> Bimi Debe. You get it. So yeah. I feel like it's beautiful still, you know. It's it's just work relationship. It's just, just like work. everybody. Yeah. You know, so I mean, I come on set and do my thing, you know. If, I, if you pay me, I deliver. <laughs> what do you think about people the Shea Vibes and Ashake music com- video comparison um oof. is there a video comparison or there is a artist comparison music video music video an artist comparison I, mean, I think it's a, I think, I think there's an um, artist comparison the honest truth is video. yeah um you see the Ashake image the dreads the grills it's a culture that has been the grills culture has been in existence since the 80s and it's never ever gonna stop to get Ply Lil Wayne 50 Cent everybody so if two people are wearing grills that is not that's not a conversation mm-hmm. but if they are wearing the same look I mean yeah it could be a conversation but the same look is a look that has been in existence even from the time future the whole Migos I mean Afrobeat is very do you understand copied, copied so if it's as, do you understand yeah wise, so. so I mean it's just quite unfortunate that they're both singing Yoruba and the, the, the one came the out style. before yeah the style you know so to me I don't I don't see that as because I don't really see that as a problem you know but long as you are not, long as there's no beef among them yeah you get, that's why I don't support I don't support hate Long as everybody is doing their own thing, because at the end of the day, we are it's poverty with a fight. Mm. <laughs> not each other. We understand not each other. And poverty, 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 not so each this other. So this one is you, this one is pain you, and you need me to come and render you a service. I'll do the best I can do. Do you understand, people, bro? As I said, at the end of the day, na poverty with a fight. Na poverty with if Shay is doing his thing and he's making his money and he needs me to come support and bring in my own expertise as a director. To make to be a debe. Why not? Do you understand? If Why I is doing his thing, I'll be like TJ, I need you to come. Bro, I'm you a commercial director. <laughs> you you did for man everybody. Man exactly. You, 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 man 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 you belong to man man everybody. Yeah, no, you don't understand. What can we, what can and you we have expect? It. Bro. What can we expect from Phil? Phil? Because Davido went on his own. Davido was brag. I've never seen Davido brag. I think he said he's going to drop the video when he gets to 15 no, million. No, even before then, Davido Phil? was like, Phil is a movie. Phil video is the video. Hey, God. See, I watch the video every day. Are you serious? I'm still very, very. Like, people drop videos and I go back to watch Phil and I come back and be like, fuck that. And Bessie. Oh my god. No, like, so are you trying to tell me the title one bear? <laughs> no, like the honest truth is yeah, like it's a video I'm very proud of. You Aww. know, like because for I shot that video like four months ago. Hmm. And with me, I get tired of watching videos like you know, four months ago video. A long time. And then everybody has dropped. 
Yeah. And then I still mm. feel no nobody reach. no say not say nobody. Did. If this one dropped, I would feel him. Just like see the song. The honest truth, the song is a song that is very dead to me. I love the song so much. I can me feel too. every emotion from the lyrics. The lyrics yep. is stronger than the beat. I agree with you. Yep, I agree. Like if you listen to the lyrics, and that's the direction I took with the video. And then the video has two faces. My, where I told my own story and then want to shot the music video like sets and all of that. Don't worry, you're gonna watch it. Like a documentary? No, 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 no. no, no. no, no, no. When it will drop, you go see. Huh? <laughs> but I've, honestly, I feel like it's that video. I feel like it's gonna be the video of the year and probably the decade until I shoot another one. Uh-uh. Phil is, you're saying that Phil is going to be the video of the decade. Until yes. You shoot shoot another, another one. one. Because you come back and do it again. I'll right? double it. So man. you're only in competition uh, against yourself. With myself. I see uh, no competition. Yeah. So this, biggest this, in the game. This film you're working on. Yeah. Want to tell us about it? Um, yeah, I mean, we're still in the writing process, but I feel like it's time. I need to... Because because my time as a music... I'm getting bored. It's crazy to say, but music videos are get to me, they're getting boring. I feel like I need new challenges. Mm. You know, so I can't lie. Right now, my negotiation power in music videos are so... Like, that's so... Stretched. Yes, yeah, stretched. Like, we feel they negotiate like two months. Like, I, <laughs> it has to be the song. I, you know, before anything, let's do it. But now I just figured that it's getting boring. I want something for myself. Because with music video, is for you and the artist. Mm. I want something that is going to be tied to, tied to myself and my legacy. And your legacy. You understand? So I want to shoot something. I want to shoot my life. Like, I want to pull out everything I can. Like, everything yeah. I've gathered over the years from making music videos from being on set, mm. like that creative freedom. Because sometimes music videos limit you because of the lyrics mm. and the sound. The time or, you or, can't shoot or the past, duration. Not just the duration. You can't shoot past the melody of the song or the lyrics of the song or the beat of the song the, or the, the song. Tempo. The music video, so the has song has given you a framework. Yes, exactly. Yes, that's being sync yeah, with the, the music. The song has boxed you. Hmm. What do you feel about the arguments about wombolobolization of Afrobeat music videos? What's what? Wombolo. <laughs> Juju. Wombolo. Exactly. Wombolo. Wombolo. That's okay. what they called it. <laughs> the honest truth is, yeah. Um, the honest truth is, yeah. This thing. I saw it on Twitter. I'm actually saying it on People are just creating a. People are just trying to create engagement and all of that. But this wombolobolization or whatever it's called <laughs> is what we're born into. Do you understand? Like, I mean, Nollywood. yeah, Nollywood, this is who we are. Hmm. You can never take away masquerades, African prints. Hmm. We might take a break and hmm. we'll always come back because this is who we are. You cannot it, like, what? It is who we are. It is who we are. Are, are, we, are we really doing it for us or are we doing it's it for, for us, external no, validation? Well, it's no, it's culture, not about that. It's, it's our culture. At, so no matter at how far... Did, point did we decide to no, start portraying no, 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 no. We didn't from decide time to start. we no, didn't no, decide no, to start no, it no no now let me say what okay. at what point did we decide to bring it back because now, at some point we were stop. not doing that it can never it stop are you sure I don't let me explain so. something you see to you. a lot of western looking videos exactly that is that is not Isn't who that we the are validation on? No, no, no. Let me explain something to you. Video, not the because our music is influenced guys, by them. If we're right. saying that Wait. our music is influenced by hip hop, what kind of videos are we gonna shoot, guys? Let's let's no, let's, let let's align something. so that TG can answer. Yeah, now, TG, sorry. The reality sometimes is, get like this. At some point, we were shooting videos like that to yeah. get that attention, mm -hmm. right? We we were trying to live what we like. TG is saying what we are, which is like the masquerade, the culture, the prince, right? But then it, it got to a point where. The thing that people wanted to see from us became the prince. Exactly. Right? Mm -hmm. So it, you are not wrong when you say that. But at the same time, it's like saying, uh, what's his? I get what. Please just talk. No okay. Like, yes, please. You've seen, have you seen Indian movies? Yes. Chinese yes. movies? Yes. 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 Have you ever seen, um, um, I know your masquerade in a Chinese movie? No. That's not who they are. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. There's always going to be a balance. It's not all videos are like that. If the artist is singing in... If he's singing hip-hop... You saw Bonaboy Big 7. He went to shoot it in a... Where the song sounds like. He went to shoot the video there. Do you understand? But when he does... Where the bed do they enter, but he comes back and... Do you understand? So like... the As I said, just like what I said, the music... in boxes. boxes. Do you understand? You can't... Most of our music... Uh, most of these people are creating music from 
Some people bring music from the shrine. Music where they sing for incantation. That's music you hear. Because most of our music comes from these places. Music you hear from, like, if you go to Oba's Palace on Thursday and mm. they're beating all those drums and those masquerades are coming out. People go and jack music from those things. You can't take it away from it. These things will always recycle back. Mm. But music videos are not supposed to be a certain way. This is art. People just will always just want to criticize what they don't understand. And it's fine. We are, I mean, bro, the beauty of art is the fact that you can criticize. It has no one plus one. Mathematics and science has answers. One plus one is two. But art, there's no and there's no final answer. What is good to me might not mm. be good to there's you. There's no best answer. There's no you keep painting and painting. If you come back, there's something to correct. If you've had one plus one, that is it. Two. If you come back tomorrow, it's still two. But the painting that is here, if you come back tomorrow and add another thing, it's still going to be, it's still yeah. going to be. Yeah. You understand? So like, yeah. it's okay for people. Right now, that is where people are. Tomorrow, I will come with another style. Give them another, st- I mean, we're all trying to evolve. We're yeah. all trying to transition. Yeah. When I shot yoga in Senegal, it was like more of their culture, more of their, they understand their element. I honestly feel like that is who we are. I agree. And sometimes, if you sing hip hop, we'll go. Uh, it's not all my videos, or it's not everybody's video that always comes with masquerade and everything. Yeah. People are just trying to be so Western, but that is not them. They understand, bro. You can't have a festival in Africa without a masquerade. An African festival. An Africa, yeah. That's that is it. Like an Africa, that is in Africa. Some Africa. Form of masquerade. The most, yeah. bro. Masquerade is part of life. It's like it's party, bro. Flex. You can't even as a kid. Randomly, if you just see one masquerade for street the king, yeah. Yeah. it's part of the aesthetics. People are now saying, oh, you are bringing... Bro, people, it's just because it's becoming a lot. Everybody are just jumping on the aesthetics. People want, to, people want to refresh their eyes. And I totally understand Fine. because now there's so much... People are just jacking anything they see on Pinterest. Some of them don't even understand. <laughs> Pinterest is the mood board. Some people don't even understand the God masquerade. Damn, that is why, bro. Some people, <laughs> oh, oh, some people don't even understand the importance of the masquerade. They don't even know the masquerade. They don't even know the history of the masquerade that mm. put in on the video. Yes. Some people it just want to look deep. Them. Some people just want to appear deep. Fake deep. Boom. Deep. Ah, it doesn't jack everything I see. Did you, where do you get your shoes from? These are Balenciaga, Balenciaga clocks. I get them in Balenciaga store in New York. This is, I, a, this is, is it heavy? Please. You want to you you put please, yourself please. in my shoes? Yeah. Give me one of the shoes. I want to see if the shoes, 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 shoes are heavy. I mean, your uncle will just... Your uncle will go to you if you're not savvy. It looks like... I mean, I love them. They're common. Is it a man's shoe? It's unisex. It's unisex. TG, I have a question that I wanted to ask. Do you want to tell us the idea that you had when you were shooting those Ashake videos, like the story. The story? Yeah. The long-term story yeah. or... The story of the ones you shot so far. The like, direction. Yeah, the direction from like... um From... <laughs> what's the time? Peace be on to you. The time. Because it's asking questions Peace like, be on to the you. answers are very long. I don't know how you want to do that in two minutes, but... Please, Peace be on to Please you. go to where? As I said, with <laughs> me and Ashake video, we just allow it. It's like a spiritual thing. Peace be on to you this... Uh, you, uh, tsunami or hurricane or yeah. uh, tornado that you saw in the video was not planned. That day we had a terrible weather. Ooh. We were shooting and the rain was falling and it was windy. So when I got to, because my videos are always very bright. So when I got to editing, I figured I was dark. I was not feeling it. I was like, okay, I should make it look like, since it's dark, let me throw tornado in the <sighs> background. So make it look it like a theme. Yeah. Ah! So you already you already shot the video before you added that. Yes. Which also works so the with me, the with me, yeah, with me until I finish. That's why I did my videos myself. Yeah. Until I finish the editing, the creative process is not done. Huh? Because anything yeah, can so, enter. Bro, until I finish the editing, the creative process is not done. That's mm. why I like to if I like to edit my videos myself, not because yeah. it's enjoy. It's not because it's comfortable, but it's part of the creative process. Nice. You get so like the bike thing. As I said, it's I'm just trying to build a villain and an and, and unforgettable image for him that yeah. anywhere he sees him, he stares. That bike it's was striking. He wants to know what he's saying. It's, so interpretation. It was not even just yeah. It was not. Even, it was about imaging. Yeah. Like if you see him, it should torment you the whole week. Like you want to ask, yeah. Like, I, that, is that a I, 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 I like. God damn it. I, 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 I is a cute boy. 
<laughs> but, but she started. Oh, see, you started Cause cute, me. I feel like cute was not gonna sell. No, Excel no. said. Excel yeah. was what I said. Ajake was yeah. like, he's a cute. If you see, ah, uh, cute, fine boy. sexy, fine, fine boy. Me, you're like this don't sell. But this cute boy, he was cute. cute. <laughs> cute boy, is yacht pop was cute. That was that era Different. of Afrobeat. You understand? Now this time, need... look at the lady like face come out from two. Anyway, you see him making the made it, made it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's the fastest video? Like an artist calls you say, "Hey, I'm in the country." Eh? Oh, he happened that day. They called you that day and you shot it that day. I went to submit oil and gas. Totori. Totori. Okay, Totori. I went to submit oil and gas and Olamide said, ah, Whiskey is in town and we've had this song for a minute. I think he's gonna, you know, you know, it, it's always crazy for artist features when an artist has yeah, to get you themselves. you have to plan around. Yeah, to get themselves to be in the same city at the same time is always a struggle. Yeah. So it's like, yo, Wiz is in town, man. I think he came in today and he's down to shoot if we can do something. It was two already. Wow. And they wanted to shoot like six. I was like, okay. Then he started press money for me. And the press money, I didn't say I went to the go house. My brain locked because I was forcing my brain to get to something. So like, like my brain locked. I could not think of anything. But I first of all called the rental house that we have a shoot today. Make sure you lock in equipment for me by six. Then something just came to my head that I should play with numbers and colors. And I was like, okay, fuck it. I got a place that looked like an arena, threw people in with colors, handkerchief, numbers. And then I said, okay, come through it. Brought fire. I just created some, I just, you know, it's easy to start chaos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just created something very chaotic. And then I went away with it. And that was it. And then we had a baggy video. Boom, we dropped it out. Which one video have you dropped that you felt like? Mm. You guys don't want to go yeah. today. Bro, this is a, this is a good, I you guys, this is a good episode. I think they yeah. shut down their television. Have you guys shut down their television? Okay, we can keep going. Yeah. She said no. Please, say, please say, um, what video have you, like, that you were like, maybe? I would have done better. Yes. Yeah. Ah, I can't remember, but I feel like any video that is out is out. That's how it should be. Mm. You understand? Yeah. Once it's out there, it's, it's out, out. It's out. It's out. You know, it's, out. it's the back. one in my hand. It's only fuel that can always. Can I've I gone back. Yeah. yeah. Have, you, have you gone back to edit anything since? Sound design. I've gone back to do sound design because oh. it has like a thirty seconds intro without the song. Okay. So it's sound design. I always listen to. Ah, like, oh, this thing is sounding like Nollywood sound design. Change I want to do Yeah, change it. I've just been working with the sound design guy to twist and turn. But the video itself have been good. So I think it's only the video that is in my hand. No, that you can be changed. That, that can. can't. Once it's out, it's out, no regrets. The worst thing that will happen, I won't watch it. I don't even watch my videos. Like I don't even watch videos. Once it's out, it's out. <laughs> Once so it's this, out, so it's out. this feels sound design that you have been touching. Have you told David that I've changed something? Yes, now I've been, I've sent it like fifteen. I've sent it like fifteen. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Mad. Thank you Thank so, you so much. much. Gio Mori for coming <laughs> through. It was, it Thank was, you. Everyone I think this was like the only podcast I've really spoken this much. I've. This, this is like the first time I'm doing an interview in like a year or two. Mado, thank you. Thank you so much. You are such a great guest. No, it's you fun. were Shout a great guest. Watching. Full video out Monday. Full audio out Monday on all platforms. Oh, and these guys, they are the blush. Follow <laughs> zero conditions. Wait, 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 wait. Follow zero conditions. Send us email. We have a bunch of emails to read out next week. Don't worry, we don't have a guest. Episode, we don't have a guest next week. So we don't worry, we, we, we just be there for you. But since somebody, today, somebody saw me in real life was like, I sent a mail. You know, I say sorry, sorry, sorry. No worries. So next week we did for you guys. Love, peace, see ya.